Hello, hello, if anyone is there. Me and my, uh, my delicious five o'clock shadow are, uh, here to, uh, to, uh, entertain you. Isn't this, isn't this delicious? I, like, feel like I shave so often, and it's just, 
It's nothing. Nothing. It always comes back. So anyways, I, we got a little bit of a behind the scenes here because usually my, my, my uh, camera stand is right here. Uh, and it's pointing at me like this, which gives you the whole, you know, look of uh, everything else that's going on. Uh, you know, but now this is going to be behind my thing because why not? So, anyways, I'm gonna not just like unbox this really quick, um, but like, oh yeah, so I got a new poster too. I got an NSR poster. It's pretty sweet. That's that's shitty, dude. Yeah, there we go. Pretty sweet. So, anyways, my, my camera stand is uh, behind here with me. And we do got the Switch and a few other things that are related to the Switch. And if y'all want me to, I also have um, another box. Uh, of just Nintendo stuff that I could maybe unbox at as well. Um, so, yes, I'll get to that. This is my messy, a uh, little bit of a messy uh, couch area. That's why there's this shit over here all piled up and neat, I guess. But, uh, yes, yeah, so we got that going on. I'll give it a few minutes um, to see if anybody else is going to show up. I really gotta start making it so that, like, instead of it saying, uh, stream starting in five minutes, that puts a lot of pressure on me to, like, drop, like, like, to start the stream right at when, like, the stream should start. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play some music. Huh? I got a good soundtrack, I think, for this. Uh, let me, uh, let me get this, get this going a little bit. Uh, so, Sega Swing Flight Away. This is, uh, a long time, long time favorite album, which is also a lot. Hello, also Rich said you're a fucking poopy. Yeah, I don't care, Kiara. How many times do I have to not care for me to, like, legitimately not care? Alright, so, uh... Unmute the desktop audio. This is a good album. This is a good album, though, listen. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, for this behind-the-scenes thing going on. Also, I got, like, this, uh, this is, I ha I've had for forever, but I don't think I've ever shown anyone this. But I got this, uh, <laughs> I can, here, let me, uh, pause this, actually. But I got this, uh, this, um, Game Boy, uh, watch, which does tell the time. Um, but that's all it does. I can set an alarm on it, but it doesn't play any games or anything like that. But if I hold all the buttons at once... If I can get them. There we go. Plays this little... Plays this little jingle. Which is pretty cool. I'm gonna seal it. No. This is mine. This is actually the only watch that I've ever had that, like, actually feels like it fits me. Every other watch just felt like a watch. This one actually feels like... I don't know. This one feels like, like... I'm part... I think, I think I'm part pixel. You know? I think, like, if I were to get, like, a... A, a um... Hereditary test like ancestry.com they'd, they'd find that i'm like at least 25 percent pixel or some shit uh because that's that feels like you know that feels like a truth so anyways let me uh, let me start playing this again or maybe i should play this is this is a sega based album and i'm opening up a nintendo thing so maybe i should maybe i should work on that mario and chill yeah i'm feeling that where's the uh Where's the Mario? The Mario Kart remix was like the best here. Yeah, let's go. Let's go with that. Rainbow Road. All right. Oh, and then the Chiltendo right after that. So, Ancestry is as expensive as fuck. It can be. Uh, you can get it so that like they do like really good deals sometimes. Um. Anyways, I like streaming enough that even on my days off, I feel like streaming. So. I, there's not pressure on me, I don't feel like, to do that. But, like, I do want to start working on the movie a little bit more. But I actually sent an um, email to Joe uh, to um, ask him about, like, my character designs and stuff. Well, I'm broke. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. All right, so anyways, uh, I think it's been long enough. I'm going to start... Oh, what I was going to say is I'm going to make my, my stream commencing... I'm going to just, like, edit it so that it's a little bit longer. But it just says, uh, stream starting soon. And then I'll just start the stream and talk for a minute and then do whatever. But, like, I feel like putting the exact timeline that I'm going to start the stream in puts a lot of pressure on me to both, hit, like, wait till that's supposed to start 
and also, like, pay attention. Because, like, every single time I feel like I start my stream and I'm like, oh, I forgot my tea, or like, oh, my camera's not on, or something, and then, like, but, like, if I, you know, if I, if I just make a stream starting soon, then I have that, like, little leeway of either I can start it early or start it a little bit later and not worry about it. So, anyways, let's get into an unboxing. So I got a switch. Yeah. This is my leg. My hairy, hairy ass leg. My full, full Yeti style. I, this is gonna be hard for me to. Maybe I. Maybe I won't like have my headphones on. But. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna try and give you guys. Uh, well, this uh, this camera stand's a little jankage. So. It's gonna be a little. Little difficult to do what I want to do, I think. But maybe I can do like that. That's a little precarious for my, for my taste. So, maybe I'll just do this. Also, my, my camera will die at some point if I don't charge it. So, I'll just do this, and then I'll just get, like, nice, um, um, I'll just, I'll just show you guys things as, as I open it up. But yes, I do not know what to expect with the Switch. I did open this up already, and I started pulling stuff out, and then I was like, well, why don't I do an unboxing? So I actually put a few things away, but you'll notice that, like, for example, this I put back in, but I haven't really played on a Switch too much, uh, so I don't know exactly what to expect. But let's uh, go through it together, I guess. I also got a few extra things. I got some stuff to put it in because I want to style it, and I got some skins and stuff. So you already, you already got the um, Monster Hunter Rise Edition. I bought him that because he's a big Monster Hunter fan. I am a big Zelda fan, but they didn't have a Zelda Edition, so I was just like, why don't I just get a bunch of Zelda stuff, and I didn't want to put like a bunch of like Final Fantasy skins or something on that, because I didn't feel like that really fit the console, but like something like Zelda, I think Zelda is my like favorite overall Nintendo, I claim guilt for making him a fan of Monster Hunter, you did not, he, he was a way bigger, a way big fan of Monster Hunter, way before uh, he met you, because he, his favorite Monster Hunter was Monster Hunter 4, and he apparently played that like straight through high school, and he literally just bought a DS like a few weeks ago just to play that game again and now he's just like super interested in rise because it reminds him of monster hunter 4 so um and we both actually have the same thing i don't have beef with monster hunter world but i wasn't interested in it and then i started playing monster hunter 4 because i was trying to get it set up for yarid i was trying to emulate it for him instead of having him have to buy a uh, a system uh and i couldn't get it working on his computer but borrowed monster hunter 4 from me for almost a month at villa maybe it was Maybe it was that time. I don't know. He said he had it in high school, though. So, I don't know. But, long story short, we're both interested in Rise, which is on the Switch. So, we're going to play that together. We'll probably stream that. I'm probably going to stream. Yeah, I'll play some... I'll get some Mario Kart going. I'll get some... Dude, I love Nintendo titles. I, I forgot how banger Nintendo was. And I just haven't bought, like, a Nintendo console in forever. Like, the last Nintendo console I had was literally a, a regular-ass DS slash Wii. I didn't have a Wii U, and I didn't have... Wii U is eh, but like, like the Switch, I can already... Like, there's so many things that I've already played on it very briefly that I already know are bangers. So, I'm ready to play. So let's, let's get let's get to the unboxing here. Can you guys... You can guys can see this, right? Like, this is this lighting's good. I don't want to have to plug that guy in unless I have to, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel like it's that big a deal. But, yeah, anyways, let's, uh, let's get into it. So... We have the screen, which I know that this, like, connects together, but, like, I'm already, like, I was realizing the other day how awesome the Switch actually is uh, when it comes down to it. What is this? Is that, like, a, a little camera or something? Oh. Maybe this is, like, the top? No, this is definitely the top, so. Man, it's a camera or something. There's a little, like, divot. Not divot, but a little thing there. Ooh. Hey, guys, look at your reflection. <laughs> oh yeah, I got the FF7 Meteor sticker. I forgot on uh, my my new cam my new uh thing. Anyways, so I really like this because I realized what's so cool about the Switch is that like they they were like what's super successful? Our consoles blast banger games, but what if we made a console that could play all this shit really really well but made it super portable? And that that is really cool to me. So yeah. So that's that's out. Pull these guys out. These guys, I already like this, because, like, I like this color a lot. Um, it's red, but it's not. It's, like, it's, like, a pinkish, orangey, like, hot pink red, and that, that, like, pops to me, and I really, 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 really like that. That's, that's pretty sweet to me. Um, and also, just, like, this kind of blue is, you know, one of my favorite colors, so. It's got that hint of, like, the, the green for the seafoam. 
So like those these this combination of colors is like really I'm, I'm, that's really good for them. That's really smart. That's really clean. Um, but yeah, so you guys are like I mean Owen already has a switch I believe, um, but you know for for y'all at home. Uh, same ones I went for. Yeah, these ones are super cool. So that color, super nice. Sorry for my like blistered uh, hands. I wash them a lot because I cook a lot, so they get all messed up, but. Um, yeah, that color, dope as fuck. Um, this color is also pretty sweet. Yeah, I actually like it. This is working out a little bit better than I was expecting to. A little bit. Uh, but yeah, so this is, this is sweet, alright. Let me, uh, readjust my camera. Okay. So we got those two, we got these things, right? And I assume that these just pop right in here, like this, yes. Sweet. So, boom, full switch. Which honestly feels a lot better than I was expecting it to. It feel it feels a lot different than I was expecting it to, but it feels like it feels super good. Um, I don't know what it is about like the isolated, um, uh, the isolated Joy Cons, uh, but they do feel a little weird because I think they're just small, and I have I have big old hands, uh, so yeah, it feels a little weird just holding them, but like with the, the full console, you know, it feels really good. Uh, so what's this? We got Nintendo Switch. By the way, fuck you, we're Nintendo. Try to do anything with with the console and we're gonna come after your ass, but we're not actually gonna do anything. We're just gonna make you fear us like, like the, the company we are. And um, by the way, here's this in French. Okay, cool. Awesome. That's uh, good. We got it. <laughs> I'm sure there was important stuff on there, but you, you know what? Oh, shit! This comes with this. That's awesome. Uh, the freaking, um, the, uh, it's the, uh, whatever, the, the, the fucking, you, you put the Joy-Cons in here, and then you have, you can, you can hold it like a, um, a thing and play it. So that's, that's actually pretty sweet. I wasn't expecting, I, I was expecting myself to have to order something like this. I wasn't expecting that to come with it, uh, honestly. Um, so that's, that's sweet as fuck. That's, that's awesome. Um, so yeah, we'll put that there. That's that's sweet. Um, so we got. I believe I already took out the HDMI cable, that, that, or I put it back. I don't know, but that's that's somewhere around here. Um, so this is the charging thing. Wow, that's a big boy. That's a big fat boy. Damn, this guy's got a lot of power on his USB C too. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to adjust the camera, but it's a USB Type C. Uh, so that's that's sweet. Um, I'm not gonna worry about like organizing this stuff right now. I'm just gonna open this shit and call it. Um, all right, so we got these little Joy-Con protectors too, which I don't really know what these pur the purpose of these are for. I guess it's just so that when you have the um, how do you get these off? Do you just pull it off or do you? Um, oh, is, there, is this the release? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I guess the point of these is just that if you were to hold the Joy-Con by itself, you put these on here and then, oh, no, never mind, it's so they have buttons. Okay, that makes sense, so if you're playing with two people, oh my god, Nintendo, you geniuses. You fucking genius, you fucking geniuses. You fucking masterminds, what the fuck, that's awesome. Holy shit, hold on, okay, so, if you're playing a two-player game, you got this guy, right? These, these, next to each other, are different for the different hands, so you play, you play with them differently. But if you were to turn them on its side, it's the same goddamn controller, and it plays the same way. Oh, sorry, wrong side. If you put it on its side, okay, hold on, let me get this, this is this cool as fuck, I actually like this. Let me get this other one put on there. All right, so if you turn these on their sides, like this, and you're playing a two-player game, right? Suddenly now you have the same, like the same controller with the same buttons, right? Minus plus is over here, but like then you got the home button, home button, right? And suddenly you can play two-player games with the same controller. So they're building games for this. That's fucking sweet. That's fucking cool. So now you have two controllers out of the one controller, and then when you're playing one-player games, you use both for whatever reasons. So like that's actually pretty cool. You, that's easy. Like dude, they always got you at parties, dude. They 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 fucking 
Nintendo's always been the party masters. Let's be real. So that's that's sweet as hell. That's that's pretty cool as fuck. I gotta admit, that's awesome. And then what's this? This is a box. Wow, this is getting toasty in here already. I turned off my fan and I'm sweating, yo. Woo! Oh, this is this. Okay, so this is the the dock, right? So I plug. I can plug in. Um, the console in the back here. I know this one because uh, my friend has a switch. So. And we were setting it up the one day. So I can console, I can plug in stuff to here, and then the console plugs in right here, right? So you, you basically just drop the console in here, and then this dock station, wherever it is, uh, it automatically connects it to all this stuff, right? Um, USB slash um, AC adapter, uh, USB AC mount, right? So if I were to plug this, so I basically, I'm gonna set this up so it's on my desk, right behind my monitor. Right, and then this is going to be connected through the um, capture card and everything else and go straight to my monitor and straight to OBS too. So I'm going to have this sitting there and then whenever I'm playing a game by myself, I can just pick it up and go and do whatever or I can play it on the console or I can play it on my, my monitor. But basically I'm going to sit this down and plug it in uh, so that it's just sitting there. And then um, whenever I want to record, which is probably going to be very often because I'm going to be like streaming and stuff, which has very, been very fun for me. Um, I'm just going to like basically have this sitting there and then I just take this guy and put him, I don't want to, I have a screen protector so I don't want to, I want to be very careful with this. But I plug him down in like that and it just goes in there and then, uh, yeah, I can just take it and go and do whatever. So that's pretty sweet. That's awesome as hell. Um, dude, I'm losing my shit over Nintendo right now. I, I've been not acknowledging Nintendo for the longest time because I've been broke, but it's more like, it, that, that's been more of a choice. Like, not the, the brokenness, but like the, uh, like I could have been broke and also bought a Switch and just been broke that way, you know? Like, that, that is something that could have happened. So, yeah, that's the console, that's all the, all the things. That's pretty sweet. I like the setup. So, already we got this nice little thing going on. So, now, what I also have to add to this now is this. So I have these, this is just the uh, the cards, so this isn't actually, I have them all over here, but I basically have this whole setup to put all um, these skins of the Breath of the Wild type things. Here, I'll get a better picture here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'll get a Breath of the Wild, like, I got these screen protectors, and I got all these other things to, like, face, basically, you know, beef up my Joy-Cons and make them look super cool. Although, I really like the Joy-Cons as the colors they are. So I might just leave them without the skins. We'll see. I guess I guess maybe, I, like, I can put the skin on it and still see it in the back and whatever, and it'll still have that color. But, like, I really do just... Oh, dude, that fresh Nintendo smell. Mmm. Smells like... Smells like Japanese genius. Mmm. I can Miyamoto's touch Miyamoto's fingers touch this directly. I can I can tell. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, so I will start putting those on. Maybe I should put some like I'll put some Zelda music on instead. Uh, let's do like Zelda and chill. Zelda and chill too. Or maybe Zelda and chill one. I like Zelda and chill one. I specifically want to, I know which one I want to listen to right now. Specifically, the Kakariko theme is like my favorite right here. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's start pulling out these skins and get these on here. So, we got all these cool skins, which are cool on their own right. And I don't know exactly how to apply them, but that's what, you know, this is for. So, Joy-Con, it says do the Joy-Con ones first. Oh, that's actually cool, I can actually put them on, like they go, oh, and they go on the grip too. So the grip, the grip will also have, like, a piece right here. So why don't I put this on, why don't I put these on the grip, and then do it that way, and then, uh, we'll, uh, We'll just get at it that way because like I feel like it's set up for it to be on the grip and I actually like the grip the grip doesn't really feel like, that's kind of cool it's just a straight up you know controller that feels a little rough when I'm pulling it off but 
Maybe it's supposed to. I don't know. I can't wait to get some like Smash going and stuff too. Like, god dang, Smash Ultimate I know is, is fantastic. I've been playing Melee, but like, honestly, I'm not planning on going pro in Melee. And Smash Ultimate feels great. I just I just like the the novelty of uh, Melee. I like I like, it, but I'm not super fucking good at it to any degree. Um, so the way I can say I'm, I'm at Melee is, is like I'm put it in a room full of regular people. I'm pretty fucking good. Put in a room full of people who've been, like, attending, like, you know, pro leagues and stuff like that. And I actually, uh, take my hat off. I actually, I'm not, I'm not that <laughs> great at all. But, uh, so yeah. We'll put the, uh, put the, I'm, I'm sorry if this camera angle is a little weird. I'm trying. Uh, but this is what I got with my camera stand right now. I don't really have a better one. Unless I were to, like, nah, this is, yeah, this is about as best I can do with this, this whole situation that I got going on. For right now at least quickly so whatever I'll, I'll put these on um why don't i put on i'll put on the joy con skins um and then if i decide to i can always remove them later you know Ooh, yes okay Trying to make sure that there's no air boobles, which, uh, it's working out, it's working out, it's working, I got it, I think. Ooh, yeah. Alright, that, that looks pretty sweet, actually. Yeah, this is an official, this is a controller gear or whatever, but this is an official Nintendo, like, licensed thing, so. Yeah. So, you see it's got that nice, like, um, Breath of the Wild, I'm trying to get, like, a good shot, I'm going, yeah, it's got that nice, like, Breath of the Wild, like, look to it, you know, which is pretty cool. Um, whoops, I didn't mean to restart that. Let's do Legend of Synthwave, I'm feeling, that's, mmm, this, this is the energy that I needed. I was looking for energy. Alright, so, uh... Yeah, I'll put the other, other thing. I don't know how I feel about the button overlays. Because, like... Like, are they supposed to? No, it doesn't even look like they put it on, on this one. But, like, the button overlays are there. But, like, I don't know how I feel. I'll, I'll keep this in, like, the box when I'm done. But, I, like, I want to see the buttons because you know like sometimes you don't know what, what you're doing so it's like oh what do I press and then like I'm not used to the switch yet so I don't really know exactly I mean it's it's the same as it is for like the SNES or anything like that so it's not like a big difference but like I feel like it would annoy my fingers too like this this being on here this doesn't bother me at all right but like if it was if I was constantly messing with these and they had like the skin on them I feel like that would be annoying a little bit so I'm gonna leave those off for now but I'll, put, I'll definitely put the other side and this... I'll, I'll definitely get this Joy-Con set up. Alright, so... It's kind of kind of a little... Kind of a little weird to, to do this the way I'm trying to. Wait, you see that? Yeah. But, uh... Missed just a little bit. There we go. Close enough. I can always. Oh shit! It's kind of weird because like the bubbles. There's a lot of areas for the bubbles to leave, but it's still like it, it like makes it harder to put it in the right spot. It feels like like right there but I can just push that out there, so yeah. Um, feel like I missed a little bit in application here. Oh, this is a little, a little rough uh, to try and put this on. It's all me, it's all user error. I'm not saying that the uh, skin itself is at fault to any degree. It's, it's me 
trying to uh, not mess it up and messing it up bad. It's just this, this last part. Like, if I can just... I think I might have stretched it accidentally or something. Or it's just so slightly misaligned that I'm just kind of getting it messed up. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, whatever. It's close enough. Not super worried about it. What I'm talking about is right here. You see that, like, I kind of, like... Oh, here. Let me, uh... Let me, uh... Talking about me? What do you mean? What, what did I say? Did I say something about... Uh... Did I say something about you? Did I, did I say something that sounded like you? I don't know. Anyways, what I'm trying... What I'm trying to say is that this... Fuck, I can't get there. I'm trying to... Mm, it's hard for me to, like, work with this camera. Because I'm, like... I'm, I'm, like, looking at a mirror image of how I would move. So it's a little weird. Um, but, so this right here. Um, there we go. Uh, that, I kind of applied weird. You see, I, I kind of, like... So it's a little bit... It's, like, close... Like, it bare, It, like, almost touches and goes overlaps here. It doesn't... You don't feel it. It's fine. But, like, I, you can kind of see how it, like, bleeds over. I just messed that up. I, I don't know how to, like... I think I stretched it or something accidentally, but it's cool. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't affect me hitting the button at all, seemingly. Um, and if it were to, I guess I can remove... I don't really care about the skin too much. Uh, but, like, I don't know. It looks, looks pretty, pretty cool, you know? Let me get the... Uh, try to get that. So, looks pretty cool, you know? I think that's, that's pretty cool. Um... And there's one more. Now, I do have these, again, I was saying, I do have these uh, button overlays. I'm not going to put those on there. Because that, that feels like it would be a pain to play all the time. So, if I feel like it, perhaps I will put those on there just to give it that full-bodied aesthetic. But I honestly think that those aren't supposed to go on there. I think that they're literally there just to, like, give it the full sheet. So that it's easier for them to produce it. And then they just cut it. And that's it. But I could be entirely wrong. I don't know. Ah, fuck. All right. Uh, this one's this one's gonna be a little hard. Hold up. Let me add. nice look at that you see that that's pretty sweet it's pretty sweet yeah, let me uh try to give it another yeah there we go look at that huh that's pretty cool right got this like zelda based freaking uh thing this so that was like so the thing is i was looking for like a zelda based switch right but joy cons don't have a taste i disagree wait was what was it? it was it was the 3ds when they were what was it joking about like eating the uh the chips and like everybody was like making memes of like them dipping like the the 3ds chips and, and things or was it the switch chips i think it was the switch chips actually that was long enough ago that or that it could have been this but uh, anyway so yeah i got i was i was looking for like a uh Breath of the Wild based Switch because I figured I would honestly if they had like a Mario based Switch or something like that I might have considered it which they probably do but I was looking for something Zelda because I was playing Twilight Princess and I was just really feeling it at the time so uh yeah I got this this skin and this skin only costed like 20 bucks if you were to like buy this somewhere it would only cost so much let me uh pull this out and uh overlay that a little bit yeah so it only costed like 20 bucks for the skins um, and I got stuff for, like, the console and everything, too. So, like, I, I don't know. I think for, like, 20 bucks, that actually makes it really, like, unique and style. Um, and I actually, I actually really like that a lot. So, I think that's pretty cool. Tastes pretty gross. Yeah. Probably. Probably tastes like... Well, I mean, especially after you use them, then you got, like, all that built-up, like, sweat juice and, and all that stuff, you know? <laughs> um, but, yeah, so that, that, pretty sweet. Um, so let me start this guy off, um, since, since there's, you know, a nice, nice clean screen that I don't have to worry about. I'm going to put the screen protector on there first. Uh, the screen protector looks a little beat up, 
uh, which makes sense because I had the, the things over in the kitchen and I was doing other stuff. So, But it doesn't matter because if the screen protector is beat up, that's fine. You know, It's the screen itself that uh, you got to worry about. The sticker helps remove the mask from the screen protector. Step one, the sticker has the mask from the screen protector. So, which, uh, which way is this going? Is it like this, right? Yeah, so I remove this back one. And put it on that way. So I'll just put this on really quick first. And uh, then I won't have to worry about my screen whatsoever, hopefully. And I'm glad this actually came with it because I didn't even think of getting a screen protector. Um, but, you know, that, that actually... Because, like, you know, even if a screen protector gets, like, super beat up... And, oh shit, 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 shit. Okay, that went down a little bit more aggressively than I was expecting it to. Yes. Oh, I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed. I missed it right here. I gotta hold it here. And, like, kind of bring it. Bring it down. Bring it down. Yeah, there we go. But, like, <laughs> I feel like, you know, most people don't ever plan on removing the screen protector, um, even if it gets like really beat up or something. This that's a terrible idea. Um, wow, LA's a really LA today. Um, I don't have my freaking like card available. Oh, this is this is rough. Um, what can I use to? What do I have like right here? To sort of bring something over here. This might work. Yeah, let's get those air bubbles out, nice and nice and good. And uh, yeah, anyways, like when you remove a screen, like if you ever put a screen protector on anything, you ever remove. Now this is, I'm fucking this up bad. That's okay, I'm not worried about a few. I'm probably going to be playing this mostly on my screen anyway, so I'm not really worried about a few. Uh, did I get rid of the scratches? What the fuck? You're like paper, dude. Well, good thing I put the screen protector on. And. Oh, that's to remove it? Oh, okay, so maybe I can like. Maybe I can like cheese this a little bit. Get this like nice and lined up and then I don't care. I don't care enough. Whatever. Air bubbles or no air bubbles, it doesn't change none. Uh, maybe I'll figure that out later, but I don't have the other uh, thing. The Switch also has a touch screen, so it's good to have. Um, did you get a separate one for Yard? Yes. Uh, so Yard got a Monster Hunter Edition one, and I got a regular one. The reason why is because we want to play games together. We want to play Smash Bros, and we got... And I was just like, dude... Like honestly, I had the, I had it, I had the money there, and I know that like that sounds like a bit of a dip, and it was, but I was just like, dude, I know that the banger we're gonna get out of this is gonna be like so good, and like we're not gonna regret this at all. So like, let's just be adults tomorrow. <laughs> I'm really bothered by all these these. What the hell? Oh, okay, let's remove that. All right, well. I guess I'm just gonna remove this and that's gonna be my screen protector for for now. Um, maybe I can fuck with it a little bit more. Ah, fuck it, I don't, I don't care enough right now. It's a little disappointing, but like, yeah, we got some major bubbleage going on. Maybe I'll get another one and just redo it or something, but whatever, whatever. Worst thing that happens is uh, I just got some bubbleage. And uh, hopefully it just doesn't affect anything. 
can get this big boy out though. There we go. Whatever. No big, no big. Again, I'm probably gonna be just playing it on my screen anyways, so the plug-in, like the up and go aspect of it only sounds like a novelty that I will use occasionally, but like I'm literally driving us everywhere, so it's not like I can like jump in the back of the car and play it like I used to like play like Game Boys and stuff like that. You know? Um so uh if that opportunity ever arrives, you bet you're at like I would have brought this on the plane. You know what I mean? Like I would have been playing this on the plane like this, but like I don't really mind the few bubbles just, you know, occasionally. If I was staring at it every day that might bother me, but I'm probably gonna be just playing it on the uh on my uh monitor. So yeah, anyways, onwards to the next thing. Let me uh, plug my headphones back in because they fell. Just build the dock in the car. Yeah, right? Uh, plug it into the uh, the navigational computer. <laughs> oh, geez, I've been recording for like 40 minutes. What is uh, where's my... Oh, shit, did I? I fucked up the camera, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Sorry, I was trying to check my battery. All right, one sec, I'll... Uh, Get the camera back going back again. Stop. Yes. Restart. There we go. Uh, so. Yes. Um, I got yelled at, by the way. I didn't get yelled at, but I, I was in a tutoring meeting. <laughs> And this was in the background, so I, like, I pulled up, and my teacher was just like, oh, yeah, I'm just, uh, or not my teacher, my, uh, the Jen, the director of the Achieve program, was just like, yeah, I'm just noticing that, uh, you know, that, that message you got in the back, you might want to cover that up while you're tutoring, and I was just like, oh, yeah, I guess I do, and it's funny, because it also has pee-pee-poo-poo -poo on it as a little thing, because I made a label maker thing, but, like, she was just, I was just like, oh, yeah, I guess that's kind of not proper, but it's an artistic message for myself, so I put it up immediately after the thing, and I don't really care. Nobody has ever said anything about it. Like, none of my students have ever cared about it, so it's like, whatever. Um, or at least I haven't noticed people saying anything, really, about it. But, uh, yeah. It was a dumb boy decision on me. I also might be leaving that job soon. They, they, I don't think they really, re yeah, watch your profanity. Um, I don't think they really realize that I'm a fucking artist not an office worker so i can't really like provide them what they want i'm just literally like I'll, I'll go and teach my like i'll do the stuff with the students and i'm there for the students all day but when it comes to like um when it comes to like all the just office upkeep and and all that stuff i'm just i'm not interested <laughs> i'm just like and i'm being real with it so like I don't know. I don't want to put in the extra work outside of my tutoring sessions, I guess. And I'm I'm trying to find something better. I'm, I think my my stuff's getting better to a point where I can start looking for for stuff. Oh no. I can't get this to Come on. Can't get this to stay. This thing does not like to uh to work a certain way. There we go. There we go. So, anyways, yeah, let's apply some stickers to this guy. Now that we got our goofy screen. Ooh, what's this? Does it, like, pop out or something? I guess not. I put a little scratch on it. <laughs> Solid. My, my nail just tore into that. That's okay. It's got personality already. That's how That's how we're going we're gonna to roll with this. Ah! Good thing I have a screen protector. <laughs> we're good. We're good to go. As the SD card goes. Oh, oh. Speaking of SD card, I so ironically, in order to order this, order it faster. It actually came like a few weeks before I was expecting it to. It was supposed to come at the end of April or May, uh, and it came right now. So that's that's pretty cool. But uh, I ordered it and I got this little. Um, see if I can zoom in on it. Ah. Come on, I'm trying to. Get get it to focus. I don't know if you can see the little star there. I'm trying to get it to focus. All right, whatever. Maybe if I. Okay. Well, anyways, it's a little it's a little Mario star, right? 
which is pretty cool. And uh, this is 256 gigs. Uh, it was like an extra 60 bucks to get it this way. But it actually came sooner than getting the other one. I was like, fuck it, I'll just get this special little card, and then I don't have to worry about getting an SD card, and I have like probably more than enough space to do whatever I fucking want with it. Um, and the thing with it, too, is, is that, like, um, uh, it, it, uh, yeah, it came faster, which makes me think that, like, I mean, come on, dude, it, it's literally an extra item to the whole same system, right? So, like, the only reason it came faster is because it's more expensive, so if they just made it so that you had to buy the more expensive one to get it faster, that it would come faster, and most people would end up buying that one. That's what I think... The marketing scheme, but like I'm not I'm not mad because I have this whole SD card now that I can just put in there and I'm not that that's a that's a plus in my book like now I don't have to worry about getting an SD card or anything like that but like it does just seem like like why does it why is it faster to send more pro you have to literally produce more product like it's not changing the amount of switches you're making right so like it would make more sense that it would be faster to just get the switch but you know whatever so anyways I might have some major difficulties opening this. Uh, has a little thing, but I might have to tear into it with, like, me and my, my necklace will work. Oh, yeah, that worked out super well. Super, super good. So, um, anyways, yeah, we got that. I'm going to put that in, I guess. However, that works. Aha! Why is it so, that's so awkward, though. Like, that makes no sense to me. Why, why is there, like, who, who has this long boy ass fucking, uh, like, SD card that's, like, this long that they need to make it that distinct to pop out? I guess it's so, like, you can, like, put it down like this, maybe? I guess. That makes, that makes, yeah, it's supposed to be a stand, but, like, why is there only one? That's kind of, like, once you put one on the other side so it's a little bit more, uh, more solid, you know? But like, it's kind of yeah, it's kind of that's. I like the dual purpose of it. Don't get me wrong. I think that's that's pretty sweet. Um, but it does seem a little goofy. Whatever. All right, so let me put this in. There we go. And then we can apply these other stickers, I guess. I think I'm gonna like remove this and then just keep the box and keep everything in there. So like this stuff, I'll just give the yard for whatever creations you want. And then I'm just gonna like put all my switch stuff in here just so, cause like I always look like, like for example, this I'm not using, but I'm keeping. So I'm gonna put that in there. This probably can get tossed. That probably can get tossed and then toss that. Cause that's a yard. Um, but yeah. So this goes on the back, um, no, it goes on the dock, yes. I'm a genius for ripping up the instructions that I wasn't done with uh, right there. I never uh, would have possibly considered, okay, so this is for the dock, this is for the dock. This is for our boy, the thing, so I, pu I put this on now. Also, if you guys want me to, I have, I also have, like, a Nintendo brand box with some merch. I know it's in it, but, like, it's got, like, a cool, got, like, a cool thing. So I could maybe open that, too. I, I haven't opened it yet. It's just been chilling in the kitchen because uh, I was worried about it for a minute and then realized it was an official uh, Nintendo product. So I was like, they're not going to, like, they're not going to fuck stuff up with, like, wrong things, right? Because, like, for some reason, like, everything in L.A. is, like, built to scare you. Which or in California is built to scare you, which is kind of been a very consistent thing. Uh, <laughs> so I've been like consistently scared about like lead and stuff, which is it's not something you gotta worry about so much. Um, but like, I don't know, they they seem to uh, market it as like a terrible thing that's like fucking everywhere. Oh, this looks this looks pretty dope. I gotta admit, Dude, I just ate breakfast, like, an hour ago. I ate a bunch of soup and some bread, and I'm, like, already hungry again. That's crazy. Okay, this is... 
trying to get these air pockets out. Luckily I got these big square hands so like I can use them as like a flat surface sometimes. But uh, yeah, look at that, that's pretty, that's pretty dope. That's pretty sweet. Uh, I don't know if like I can, but it like, it like, like they built it so that it kind of like comes on the top so it like kind of wraps around and like that makes it feel like super cool. Like I feel like I'm holding like a cool like phone or some shit. Like I feel like I'm wearing, like I'm holding like the, the whatever the Sheikah tablet is that you get in in the game you know like that's actually pretty sweet i actually like that like a ton so uh yeah um where's the thing so i don't think i need to worry about any of the others like so this i might be able to, sh to get that little that little guy in there but I don't think I really need to worry about it. I don't think that's the point. Um, but other than that, this... Yeah, I think that I think they're leaving. They're intentionally just shitting out a sheet of... Uh, um, like... My man. My man's got a, got a car that runs on big dick energy. That's cool. Um... I think they're intentionally just pooping on a sheet and then they just cut it up and then it's up to me to put on whatever. Cause like, for example, these little dots here, um, on the ends here, that would be where the screw is and I don't think I can really put that on there super easily. So I think that's just kind of useless. Oh, it came off of my hand too. Um, so yeah, I think, I think there's a lot of stuff that's not supposed to be used. Ah, shit, there, there goes that. Okay, well, anyways, let's put this on really quick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty dope. So, yeah, the, our, already the bang for buck I'm getting out of this, this little aesthetic thing that I got. Uh, it was like 20 bucks, and, and I'm already like way more ready to jump into like some Zelda or, or whatever, you know? Like, this makes it feel like an adventure all the time. Like, that's that's pretty cool to me. I also got this this case that I'll get it. There's probably something in I haven't opened it yet though. Let me get to, let me get this on here. So yeah, I got this like Sheikah controller like like dock now and I think this just goes right on here this is this is pretty simple hairy legs sorry about my hairy legs there I'm a I'm a Nord all right I'm a I'm one of the one of the North my ancestors grew up in in very cold climates uh, for they are they are Scots and uh you know, Scotland's like super cold, but it's not super cold for Scottish people, but it's like super cold uh, in comparison to, you know, a lot of places. Now my doc has that. That's pretty sick, ain't it? And then there's this. I don't know. <laughs> I guess like the intent is to Okay, I kind of see. I kind of see what's going on here. So if I were to take this off, oh, that's that's jank. That's jank. That's jank as fuck. Okay, hold on. Why did they do that like that? That's that's bad. I don't like that. Okay. This goes on here like this, and then it comes up. Oh, I almost missed here. Hold on. No, I did not. I fucking did it perfectly. Hold on. That's that's a little. It's a little strange. I gotta admit. Not because like like I understand why. Like I understand how this works, but like. It's just, like, I will, there's such noodly, like, they cut it up here, you see? This makes it look like it's leather. I really actually like that a lot. But they cut it up, like, here, so now I put the other side on, uh, on the other side, and then they connect here. Oh, I messed that up a little bit. 
Um, but it's it's a little makes this one side a little noodly. I think it would have been better if they just cut it the other way, so that it didn't it like shit. Hold on, focus. So that like these parts connected here instead. Um, if they, cause then I would have had like this noodly one, but I could have focused on that one. I had to focus on both at the same time. So that's a little, that's a little weird that I had to do it that way, but looking pretty dope so far. Um, I don't know if that's for anything. I think that's, that's just, that's just there. So that's, that's not for anything in particular. So I, I give that to you, right? I guess. So now I do this on the other side, and in theory, I don't think I have, do I have another one? Is this on the other side? No. Yeah, so this side stays completely barren, I guess. Uh, but. Super nice. Yeah, and then they should connect nice and cleanly up here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. It's now like one shot. That's cool as fuck. And these ones even. overlapping a bit so boom all right that's as good as I care to make it um, probably could have been just a tiny bit more precise because that that overlap there which means I kind of did something oh sorry you know, let me uh So yeah, that overlapped um, there a little bit, but I, I don't know if that's like my fault because like it looks like you know I did it pretty pretty dope on both sides. Um, I kind of missed here, I guess, a little bit. But you know, it's not like like when it's sitting there, I'm not gonna be able to see whatever's going on. So perfect. Very interesting. Very interesting. I guess I'm like a Tim from Grand Illusions, coolest old guy you've ever met. Um, so I'll just give these stickers to Yard or something. I feel like he'll have fun with, with doing that. So we'll put those over there for now. I think that's it for, for the stickers and stuff. So now I got this whole switch. And what's cool is, is that these don't line up. I thought it was gonna I thought I was gonna talk about how like this would line up with this, but this is over there missing I don't think I'm missing anything. This I don't I just don't think that this has I think this is meant to like face backwards. So, uh, yeah, I don't really think I need to do it. Um, but yeah. Now, I also have this. So this is the last kind of part of the thing. So I got a case. It's a Zelda 1. Because I'm at the overlap on the stickers. I, d I don't know. I think I did pretty good. <laughs> Ooh, this thing smells... This thing smells like, like, like it was bought at Walmart. Like, it, like, it's got that, like, like, you know, fresh, like, it's not, like, like, clean, like, factory. It's, like, it's, like, that weird, like, like, the texture is, like, that, like, um, that weird rubberized stuff. So, it's, like, it's got, like, that thing that, like, you just pulled out. Like, like that, you know, like, a fresh bike tire smells like, you know, it smells like that. With, like, a hint of, like, some, like, I don't know, something. Yeah, it just smells like, it smells like you went into the bike section of, like, a Walmart, and you're hit with all that, like, fresh rubber. Um, front definitely smelled, like, maybe I was smelling, like, the difference in the paint. But the front, front smells a little bit different. But, yeah, it has that real fresh, like, rubbery smell, which is, which is really cool. But, yeah, so it's this, uh, whole carrying case, which looks pretty dope, I gotta admit. 
And I just got it so that I can put my the so I can put the uh, switch in here when I'm not playing it and and just keep it in best condition I can because I'm a real fucking tanker of a person. So like if I'm not like setting myself up to sort of have some like protective barrier, that's why I like my phone. Um, wherever it is, uh, my phone. Oh, it's over there. My phone has like this crazy indestructible case that I bought literally three times because I've broken the case three times. Um, but not the phone. The phone's been fine. So I'm hoping that, you know, having this nice spongy um, sheet. So anyway, so yeah, it has this symbol on the back, which is the Eye of Truth or whatever uh, thing. And then the front is the Chica uh, slate type design. Um, so that's actually pretty sweet. And it's actually, like, it's not just a design. Like, it's not just a design. I don't know if I can show you, but, like, it's actually, like, a silicone uh, beef up, so, like, it actually, like, yeah, I can feel it, it has, like, a nice texture to it, it's not just, like, a, uh, this too, this is very, uh, textury, so it's not, uh, it's not just, a uh, a paint overlay, it's, like, actually, you know, popping out, um, and that's, that's pretty cool, and then there's also this, like, little, oh, let me see if I can get a good image of this, but it's, there's this, uh, yeah, textury, that's the best word I could come up with, there, I'm hitting it with the light. It's also got this coin type of thing that uh, is is the zipper, um, which has that on both sides. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I like that a lot. It's gonna keep it nice and nice and comfortable. And it's like it's not leather, but it's like pleather. So it like it feels like high quality. It feels like super high quality. Like like um rich, but like really it costs like twenty bucks. Um. Ooh. All right. So we got. This is where I assume the switch goes, and what are these? I don't really know what these are. These are little rubbery, little rubbery things. I don't know. I don't know what these would be. Any clue? I don't know what these are. I don't know what these are for. But they got they got the Sheikah slate and some some of the Zelda runic designs on them. I can't see the blue and black ones, so. I'll pull them out really quick. Joystick caps? Oh, joystick caps. Sick. Sick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, that's cool. That's cool. Um, well, I only need two. Uh, but, yeah, so we got the yellow one, which is the Sheikah Slate. We got the blue one, which I actually like a lot, is the that wavy, curvular. Well, it kind of looks, like looks like a plate with, like, some silverware next to it. You know, in, in ancient Sheikah. Okay, we got that black one, which has that, like, cool runic design as well. And then we just got this gray one, which is, uh, just the, um, Zelda's, the Zelda's logo. So, I will apply two of these right now. Which one do I want? I think I'm thinking blue and yellow. And then maybe I'll give the other ones to Yared. Um, I do like this one, though. I like the Z. But I'm thinking blue. Blue on this one. Because why not? That'll actually, like, I was already feeling that these were really small, honestly. Ironically. So I was like, this, like, my, my thumbs, but, like, then I put this on. And suddenly it actually feels, like, a lot better. <laughs> so that's actually, that's actually coming in clutch. I wasn't expecting to have those. Um, but I think I'm going to do blue and yellow. Maybe not. Maybe black. Maybe gray. Blue and gray feels like it. It fits better. I'm gonna do blue and gray. I'm gonna do that for now. I can always switch them out, I guess. No, no pressure. It doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, that. Yeah, that feels good. I like I like those a lot more than just the basic uh, basic sticks a little bit. There, there. It's like it feels like I have a little less precision because they kind of slippy slop around, but. Uh, you know, whatever. We'll see, I guess, what happens. But yeah, those are... Ah! Those are pretty dope. <laughs> I don't really use these Joy-Cons even after this. We put a PS4 controller on the Switch. That's, uh, that's pretty legit. Um, and I would consider that. Um, I do have my PC controller that I could just use, uh, too. Um, and I also just have this, which I've been using to play, uh, Twilight Princess. So I could just hook up a GameCube controller and rock out whatever I want to play. 
But also at the same time, whatever. And then, you know, now now I have two controllers at least, and maybe maybe me and Yard don't need to really buy two versions of Smash or something. But I guess I'll put that in there. I don't really have anything else to put, you know, in here because uh, like I don't really have any games or anything, and I'm probably not going to get any physical games. Honestly, I'm just going to download them all for right now. Um, but maybe I'll pick up one or two occasionally. But uh, yeah, so the Switch would ultimately, you know, connect all together. So this is this is the grab and go. This is the uh, like when it's just sitting on my desk, it's just going to be sitting on my desk. But um, put it in there like that, slap it on, and awesome. That's like beefy enough that I could drop this, smack it around, get it nicely, nicely, uh, I don't know, a lot of shit could happen in this case, and uh, the case would just take all the damage. So that's pretty sweet, and I really, really dig that. Uh, so whenever, whenever I'm just not playing it and it's just sitting around, and I'll just put it in there, but it's probably just going to be sitting on my desk, but like, uh, I got to make sure that it's fastened so it doesn't like fall off or something like that. But, uh, yeah, so that's, that's there. We got that. And I guess I could go and set it up, too. Uh, I'm not gonna set up a thing, but maybe I can just, like, give us a... But if, if I am gonna do that, I also have... So, tell me, do you guys want to watch me unbox the Nintendo... I have, like, an old-school Nintendo, uh, box that has, like, a backpack and stuff in it that I could pull out. Um, and then also, um... I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna go grab some chippoos. So tell me if tell me if you want me to grab that box, and I'm also just, I'll just I guess I'll come back and I'll just set this up uh, on screen. Why not? Um, but yeah, this is this is dope. This is dope. I'm I'm very excited, super freaking excited to play some Zelda's games, and uh, specifically like I I already like four four off the top of my head. Uh, Ocarina, or sorry, uh, Breath of the Wild, 100%, Smash, 100%, Splatoon, 100%, and then, uh, I guess, like, Mario Kart and whatever else, but, like, very specifically those three. I really want to get Splatoon 2. I, I would like to get Splatoon 1 too, but I think that was on the Wii U, and I, I didn't really get to play Splatoon 1, but I, I know I would have really liked it, but I feel like Splatoon 2 is just kind of the same thing, and that's probably still got a pretty good community, right? So, like... They just added online for Mario Party. I heard that they did that. I also heard that it's garbage because Nintendo. But, you know, we could try it. We could try it. I'm, I'm definitely down to, like, do some streams and stuff. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to go grab some chips or something because my, my stomach is, like, destroying itself. So, intermission. Is it over? Oh, no. I'm just getting the snacks, and then I'm gonna set up, I need my, uh, set up the switch. 
Um, ah. So the snacks I'm eating are Simple Mills almond flour crackers, finely ground sea salt, uh, which are delicious, and they also have no bullshit in them, which I really, really appreciate every time that I have food that has no bullshit in it. And uh, they're almond flour, so they're not even like carbs, carbaroonies, it's more just almonds, which, you know, super good for you. Mm. A little different than a regular cracker, but these actually, like, these actually really pack a punch. They, they actually have a real good flavor. Mm. Switch this so I can do it like this. Uh, I can just like look over. Well, you can see me too. Ooh. Okay, so we got English, Franchise, Duches, Espanol, Italiano, Nether Netherlands. <laughs> Netherlands. We got uh, Asian letters of Asian descent. I'm gonna get canceled so quickly for being uncultured and not knowing the distinctions between. I think this is. Hold on, let me uh, clean up my camera a little bit. I think this is that's kanji, right? No. Yes. No. I'm not sure. But, uh... Yeah, we're gonna go with English. Region! The Americas, Europe, New Zealand, Japan, Hong Kong, Taiwan, slash South Korea. Last one's Korean, I think the top is Chinese. Yeah, the, the two middle ones I think are Kanji's. Alright, internet settings. And I believe our password is weirdly... Uh, can I just... Yes. Window... 309? Is that, was that it? Yep. Cool, 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 cool. Successfully connected! Time zone, Los Angeles, Vancouver. You like to connect to TV and play on a larger screen later. Attaching the Joy-Con controllers. Okay. Why do I have to d detach them? Why is that... Necessary? Oh. I do some, like, physical things? <laughs> what time to see your internet from Buffalo? Good luck! Honestly, our internet's pretty dope. I wouldn't, like, it wouldn't kill... Uh, probably wouldn't kill it. Um, too bad. Okay, I gotta put this down, I guess. But now I gotta do Joy-Con things. Alright, um, so. Trying to get, here, let me get to a good picture. It's a very small screen, and I'm trying. But, uh, here we go, we got the, this. Okay, select the left stick to select next. Press A on the right controller. Okay. You can do that. Add user. New user will be added to the console. Select how you want to add user. Just create new user. Ooh, select an icon. Can I put these back on now? Because that was, like, way more comfortable. And I don't know why they had me. They had me take it off. Yeah, it seemed like, it seemed like that was just a dumb, a dumb dumb. So select an icon. We got Zelda, who immediately drew my eyes. We got like Big Nose Ganon. We got this guy. I like this guy. Uh, we got Samus. We got we got Spiky Hedgehog Man. We got Ouija. 
Let's go to more options. Let's see here. Character slash me. Let's see what we got. Woo! The stickers. I like the stickers. I might go with Peach. Or this Goomba guy. I like him a lot. Or just Egg. <laughs> yeah, free Wi Fi. Um, oh, look at that. Kill Peach. Peach. Yeah. Um, okay. I might, I might go with the Peach sticker. Ooh, that. Uh, Tetra. No, it's not Tetra. That's a. Well, that's. I mean, she is Tetra, but she's not Tetra. Um. Also, I like the Inklings, too, though. Well, this guy looks pretty sweet. Look at him. Yeah. What is he? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Who's this guy? What is he from? That's cool as hell. Is that arms? No, it's, it's, is that Splatoon? Who's that guy from? I like him a lot. Splatoon? Yeah, okay. And there's Marina and, uh, what's her name? Pearl? I like them a lot, too. Their character designs are crisp. Especially, like, Marina. Pearl's, Pearl's, like, she's really good, but she has, like, this, like, like, her crown is weird to me, because it's, like, um, I don't, I don't hate it, but it's, like, like, if you look at it, it's, like, this, uh, <laughs> it's like this weird like uh, shark tooth design or something like that. It's it's kind of weird to me. Oh, she's absolutely adorable. What the fuck? I've never seen her. She's from Arms, I can tell, but like I why do I not remember her design? She's like all clowny. I like that a lot. Um I guess that's it. Oh, I could make a me. Ooh, I like that guy, too. I think I'm gonna go with the peach sticker for now. I'm just gonna... Or maybe the toad sticker. I like this one. Yeah! <laughs> that shy guy is actually pretty funny. If there was Wendy, I would immediately go with Wendy. Maybe, maybe there is. I just missed it. Nah, there's only Bowser Jr. Thumber. Whatever. Lamos. I'm gonna go with Peach. Background. Let's do like my my nice, deliciously and nutritiously sea foam. All right. Enter a nickname for this user. Clayborn. Clay Clayboy. Oh, I like that actually. Clayboy, like like Game Boy, but it's like Clayboy. Clayboy. Clay Clayboy. Yes. Clayboy. Yes. Link a Nintendo account. Oh shit! I should probably do this right now because if I don't, I'm gonna be fucked. System update is required. Okay. Later, I guess. Skip. We got one person. Um, what this service includes later. Configure parental controls. Nah. Yay! Setup is complete. System update is required to use the uh, micro SD card. Is, yeah, sure. Sure, whatever. Do it. Make it happen. It's gonna like happen in like no time, isn't it? Go! There we go. Huh? We gotta make sure that you don't play more than your allotted time. Nah. I ain't, I ain't playing that game, dude. That happened too much when I was a kid. No more. If I want to play only for 15 minutes, I will only play for 15 minutes. If I want to play for two days straight, my dad wouldn't blame me, honestly. Probably. As long as I'm on top of everything else. Does the same button three times. Okay, we're, we're going. We should, uh... Probably, uh link my let's create a me really quick let's do that first let's do that as the 
Um, I don't know. Why not? These are weird, and they just like like they worked really well on the Wii, and then like they never updated the design, so it was like. I just, like, it's so weird that, like, they, they have, like, such an aesthetic at this point, even though they're super, they're just super ugly. <laughs> Alright, hold on, let me, um, I'll, I'll change the soundtrack for a minute. This song never went out of style, dude. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, so, uh, face. I got this kind of like... My face used to be like more, like, circular, but it's kind of like starting to like fill out a little bit. So I got... I don't want to say it's like that. It's like that, but like not as, not as intense. So it's, I, I guess, nah. I guess this is all I have to choose from, so I guess I'll choose that one. Uh, alright, R. Oh, should I give myself 5 o'clock shadow since I kind of got that going on? Nah, I don't have it that intense, though. That feels, like, super intense. I don't really have any blush or anything, usually. So I guess I'll just do that. Um, I do usually have like, oops. <laughs> that kind of feels right. Like I usually kind of got some like texture to my eyes, I guess, like that. Yeah, that that kind of. Yeah, I wish I could like if I could like make it so that like. No, I'm gonna make him look like me. Um, if I could, because he's my me, you know. But if I could, like, uh, change it so that, like, you know, it's, like, not as pronounced, I feel like that would be more. But, like, it, I do definitely have, like, I don't, they're not, like, tired lines. They're just, like, how my eyes kind of are. Uh, oh, yeah. That's, that's not, that's not me. I'm, like, super white, so we'll just keep it, like, all the white. Okay, so A. Oh, okay, I broke Okay, so my eyebrows are, um, I don't know, we'll say, kind of like this, I guess. I think, I think that's pretty accurate. This one, or actually like this one, probably more. I do have like a slant in the one, but that's, that's a choice, so it's not really how they actually are. Oh, that's... I can get myself antennas. Man, yes. That's pretty accurate, I think. Let me, uh... I think I'm just kind of like that, usually. Not super intense, but they're not super small either, so... That, probably. And yeah, they're like a lightish brown. Okay, my nose is kind of thick in the front, but I don't think that that really, that doesn't really uh, map me well. I think it's more like this. Or, or maybe like this. No. Um, wow, that's a weird line that's just chilling there. They really didn't update this shit at all. They really were just like, man, Mies, Mies are the hit thing for customizing yourself. They, they saw Xbox with their customizations and whatever. PlayStation was just like, nah, we're not even gonna try that. I think just the regular base nose was probably like, oh, well, maybe, maybe that one I had was like. Yeah, I guess that feels about right. Maybe like that. 
Yeah, maybe make it bigger. I don't think my nose is that big. Okay, we'll just let's keep it like that for now. We can we can always go back. Facial hair. Uh, so I got like some some mad not facial hair. So maybe maybe I can do that with this. But like, I don't know. What do you what do you think? Do you think my uh my five o'clock shadow kind of thing that I got going on like is is worthy of that kind of kind of look? This kind of kind of thing. Not a big nose. Uh, I guess my nose is kind of big. I don't know. Why not? I guess okay. Yeah, we'll do that. This is probably subject to change. I might be dyeing my hair here soon. Um, all right, gender. What changes? I get a dress. Hmm. That's all that changes. Cool. Guess we're going with that. Um. So let's see here. I got my glasses are kind of like I would say like they're more circular than anything. So, but like they're more like this, I guess. Yeah. I usually keep them up like that, kind of. Ah, that's about, that's about accurate. Uh, and then, they're like these yellow. I guess they're like kind of brown in the front. So we'll just do like a gray or something. But like if they, if they had like a side, they'd be like yellow. All right, hairstyle. Oh, there's a lot of hairstyles. Okay. Gotta get them, them animus. Okay, so like, I kinda have like this thing going on right now. <laughs> if I'm being honest with myself. I guess I can get a little scraggly, so maybe I can go like with this one. Uh. Maybe that one. Or this one, maybe. Nah. This one feels more accurate. Then soon I'll be like this. What else do I got though? Oh, it's all just feminine hairstyles. It's just like taking up the mass majority of it. So yeah, I'll go with a. Uh, I'll go with Straggly Boy over here. This guy. And my hair's like kind of brownish. But. Not super brown. One winged angel, please. Yeah. Can you imagine, like, if I just said, I'm gonna do that now, I'm gonna play One Winged Angel, but, like, can you imagine if someone, like, uh, just joined the stream and just, like, saw me making a fucking me and it's just, just One Winged Angel is just blasting? <laughs> Perfect. I like how, like, I like how, like, the eyes and the mouth are, like, that, like, weird emoji meme that's kind of been going around. Like, the, the weird, like, eh, like, kind of meme, you know, with the mouth in the center. Alright, my eyes are kind of like these almond, uh, shit. They're kind of like this, except for, like, the opposite. So maybe like this? No. this kind of yeah that's kind of that's kind of close except for it's like this and then wider apart yeah that, that kind of feels accurate We got the blue. Except my my eyes are like a like a light silver blue. Yeah. There we go. Now my mouth. I got big old boy lips. I don't know if if 
<laughs> I should give myself, like, yeah, I don't know if I should be like that. That's probably more like my default right there. Like this or this. Probably more like this. Yeah, just... Mm -hmm. Nah, I think this is pretty egg. Or, or maybe I'll give myself, like, a little bit... Oh, I thought that was gonna be more cat mouthy. What's up, bro? What's up? It's, uh, 2.42. Ooh. I think that's the one I'm gonna go for. Can you get a hat? I might be able to. That doesn't change jack shit. Okay. Mole. Do I have mole? I don't really think I do. Body. Make me pretty tall. Make me pretty skinny. Like that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Favorite color? Blue. Although if it's gonna be my shirt, that. Nickname. Yeah, there we go. I cannot get a hat to my knowledge. But uh there's there's our boy. Clay. I think it's as accurate as I can get it with a with an amoebas. Ooh, themes. Basic black. Ooh. Dark mode. Yeah, that's kinda cool. Actually it doesn't fit. It doesn't feel like uh, it doesn't feel like Nintendo with that, honestly. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're just gonna go back to the light. That feels, feels way more open and fun. Alright, so I gotta figure out how to connect to the, the Nintendo account. Nintendo Switch Online, link a Nintendo account. Okay, sign in. Just gonna do it like this. Uh, Sign in using an email or a sign in ID. So, email address or sign in. So, I need to make a Nintendo account. Whoa! It's a lot of stuff all popping up at once. It's crazy. Don't mind my 30,000 Pinterest, uh, Pinterest notifications. Okay, so I'm gonna do this off cam because it'd be really dumb to do it on cam, wouldn't it? Name. Uh, I might already have a Nintendo account, honestly, I don't know. Gender. Yeah. Why do they ask gender? I don't understand that. I guess it's like market certain things to you, but like it doesn't really feel like anybody gives a shit. Okay, cool, we got a thing. Okay. So, now I'm just gonna sign in on here. 
See if I can like just. That being said, I'm probably not gonna play anything on this for a minute. I'm not planning on downloading anything right right away. But I just wanna be able to. So whenever I decide to I'll probably now that this is here, I was expecting to have more time before this showed up. So I was gonna play through Wind Waker. That's Link. I was gonna play Wind Waker. Um, right after Twilight Princess, but I might, I might play Breath of the Wild now. Yay! Yahoo! I don't know why I'm playing Sonic music, I just kind of defaulted to that. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just go to that. Oh, look at this! Home. So don't I don't have to like pay for like online services or something, which is garbo because their online services are garbo. Okay, well whatever. Um, this will close the application. This one. How do I download Nintendo eShop? Here we go. Oh, I want to get like Super Mario Maker too. I think that would be. I might uh, not. Yeah, I could totally order uh, a bunch of things, and that's that's how I was planning on doing it. A breeze of the wild. What? Did I spell it wrong? Don't tell me I need like an actual ship. be able to order Breath of the Wild on a, on the eShop or something. I guess I can buy it and then enter the code here. That makes sense. Uh, but yeah, I can't just order it apparently. Apparently I gotta order it like online or something. You need specific names. Well, I put in like Breath. Okay, hold on, let me. I don't care about that. Okay, so let me see if I do breath. Oh, not breath. Breath. What the fuck? Why did I come that time? I typed in Zelda and Breath of the Wild, but now that's weird. Um, so what is this? What was the expansion pass? Wow, damn, slammed. Uh, buff, buff. This is dropping a lot of money into this, so I'm gonna get a lot of shit out of this, I hope. What's the expansion pass do? Cause like I, I'm oh shit you know what I'm just gonna look it up online. Um, oh Scott Pilgrim is on this too. We got on the PlayStation so there's no real fucking point to. Um, there's no real point to do that. Oh yeah, like the reverse cam. 
Uh, so, Zelda Breath Wild expansion. Is that where you get like the? Is that where you get like the the bike, or is that a mod? Cause I want it. Expansions pass. Uh, the expansion pass gains access to new sh treasure chests and two DLC packs. You bet your ass I just want to get this so I have more shit to just run around and find. Probably gonna get that. I mean, it's like 20 bucks. It's not too bad. Um, yeah, all DLC, but I don't know what that implies. So, Trial of Sword. Uh, when you get a certain secret location, you can take out any Trial of Sword. Um, blah, blah, blah. Heroes Path Mode, the new feature shows. Path Link is walked through from the last 200 of gameplay. Use the time track. Oh, that's kind of cool. Master Mode and Master Mode. Enemies, okay. Uh, travel medallion. Some of the world is a chest with a travel medallion inside. When this, you can register your current location. Only... Oh, I can get a bunch of cool outfits and armor. Cool, cool, cool. I like that. The other thing is one hit obliterator. Attack on never before seen dungeons using the one hit obliterator. Explore new shrines. Hell yeah, that's okay. So I'm gonna get the bike. I'm gonna 100% get the bike. Oh, and then I can get these things. This is pretty cool. Ah, oh, I don't want Zan's helmet. I don't like Zan. This is helmet probably stank. Phantom Ganon armor looks pretty sweet, though. That looks pretty... I like this. Holy shit, the Royal Guard uniform. I kind of want this, though. <laughs> I kind of want this Ravio's hood. What's this one from? That's Skyward Sword, right? Yeah. Ancient Bridal and Seth. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get this. I'm gonna still play through Twilight Princess first, um, but I kind of I'm kind of excited to get into that along with a bunch of other games. I do have to say I do have to I do not do absolutely need to make some money to put into like if I'm dropping a hundred bucks on a Zelda game like that's cool. I'm probably gonna get I'm probably gonna get more than my like I'm probably gonna play that for a few weeks. Like I'm probably gonna get more than my fair share of uh, time into that and that's gonna be good but uh yeah so we got two options um I can either load up some Legend of Zelda I'm still trying to get stuff in it plus the DLC stuff yeah, I know it's like a huge, massive ass game. Like, I know that I'm gonna beat the game way before I complete the game. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like, like, I'm not gonna just run straight to Ganon. I know you can do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go and try to explore as much as I possibly can before going and trying to tackle Ganon. I'm just gonna have fun, treat it like uh, an Elder Souls game where I just kind of run around and do whatever, and whatever hits me is what I'm gonna focus on then. I did it for months and did 20% of the game. It's amazing. Awesome. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to be playing that for a while, uh, I assume. It might just be, like, that might become the back burner game. I'll play it, like, really good for a few days and then just kind of, like, start playing some other stuff just because, like, like, uh, there's more, like, I love open world stuff, but, like, it's definitely, like, you know, it's definitely more open, of course. You know, it's definitely more, like, you just kind of go and do whatever. Got scanned early and almost beat him and lost my save file. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks with butt cheeks. Um, yeah, but I'll probably, I'll probably play that game a bunch and then put it on the back burner, so I'm still playing it occasionally, but, like, I, I definitely, like, for example, I want to play Super Robo Blast Kart with, uh, Elijah, which we can probably set that up before I play, we can probably set that, we, we I mean, it, Elijah, if you wanted to set, like, a day or something each week to sort of just have, like, a schedule for it, we could definitely play Robo Blast Kart, like, uh, intentionally all the time if you wanted to, a day or two, um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, like, um, so Wednesdays through Fridays. Uh, next week is my last day of tutoring. Um, let me get, let me get some more snackage, because, like, that soup did not do me justice. I don't know. I ate so much for breakfast, and it's just gone. Grab some, some more snackage. These, these are also just kind of, like, going away. I don't know. Uh... Because one of the early towers was just trapped because mages. Wednesday would probably be the best. Oh, okay. So I was going to say Wednesday through Friday is when, like, Nicole's free. And I was kind of trying to set stuff up with her, too. But that doesn't necessarily mean I want to play, you know, every day with her. 
because uh, she's probably busy too. But like, I, I do want to play some something with her. But like, I was thinking like Fridays or something with her. Um, and then next week is my last week of tutoring, so my schedule will be more open. I'm gonna try and focus on sort of making these character designs a little bit stronger, so I can get. Um, so I can start like sending out applications and stuff like that, and, and I just I'm hella in the concepting phase, and I don't think I'll ever have that done enough for me to feel super good until I move on to the next part. But I kind of want to start working on some storyboards and start doing some stuff with these characters to sort of just just so I can have some stuff to to throw out that I know is going to be way stronger than the other stuff that I have done in the past. So, um, but yeah, Wednesday sounds good to me. Um. All right, we'll just do that. We'll just do next Wednesday. We'll start. We'll start playing some Robot Blast Car for at least a few hours each day, and I'm I'm down for that. Um, maybe also like I don't know if you're if you're free this weekend or something, but like we could play maybe some this weekend because I've never played it before, so I kind of want to just like I don't know. I kind of want to dive head for it. I don't know how much of the Zelda the Twilight Princess game I got either. I'm down to kind of run around and try and finish some extra stuff in it. Um. But really, like, I can't think of anything other than the bugs and the pose that I haven't been kind of just doing uh, as it comes up. Like, I feel like everything as it comes up... Oh, I got, like, the um, the Goron stuff, too. Sorry, I'm not shopping for Rachel Power. You're good, Kira. We're just, we're just chilling at this point. Here. Oh, oh. I'm gonna plug my phone in, which means I'm gonna put it back where it, it normally goes. Um, which is right... Here, so I can plug it in that, and it's plugged into my PC at the same time, and everything. Um, but, mm. what was I trying to say? Oh, I was just gonna say that like I really like streaming. I guess uh, I've been doing it. Oh, I was talking about like. I'm definitely still enthralled by Twilight Princess. Um, it's actually a bit beefier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, I've I've been kind of like going directly. I've been kind of like just blowing through it, minus like a few hours here or there spent just kind of dicking around or going and running through an extra dungeon or something like that. So, um, and I got like what like twenty something, twenty five hours or something in it at this point. It's a uh, quite a big game. In comparison to what I was, I'm not saying I was expecting it to be small, but like, I'm just like, I've gotten more than I expected. I was already expecting a good game. You know, I was expecting a big experience. I was expecting a lot from it. And not only has like, have I gotten that, but I've already gotten more. And I'm, I'm not even like, I don't even feel like I'm close to finishing it kind of thing. I still got probably three more dungeons after... Uh, after the, like, the dungeon that I'm in right now or something like that to get the other pieces of the, the mirror or something like that. And that game's super fun, so I really do want to continue playing that and get through that. Um, but, yeah, I'm cool with, with jumping into... I gotta make something, because I feel like, like, Breath of the Wild is the one that I've been hyping up in my mind. I just kind of threw myself into Twilight Princess and actually found myself way more enjoying it than, than I was expecting to. Um, not that I wasn't expecting to enjoy it, but just that I was just like, holy, like, I was waking up every day and I'm just like, dude, I'm so excited to play Twilight Princess today. This is going to be fun. Like, every day. And I'm still like that. I kind of, I kind of even want to play it a little bit today, but I just haven't done anything today except for Tudor, so I kind of want to work on something a little bit. Or something. But, uh, I don't know. I feel like I gotta get a lot of stuff done before I play Breath of the Wild, because I feel like the day that I start playing Breath of the Wild, I'm just gonna play Breath of the Wild. I feel like I gotta make it at least that first day. Like, just, uh, I'm playing Breath of, Breath of the Wild all day, today, kind of day. Like, uh, I feel like if I don't give myself that, then I'm just gonna be like... <laughs> I'm just gonna, um, not really know what I'm doing. But, I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll make it, looking at them. If I get through Twilight Princess fast enough, maybe I'll make it, like, no, because I, I really want to do, I want to feel like I can give myself that day 
So I want to have a lot of stuff done for this movie, I guess. Not a lot of stuff, but like just a decent amount of stuff that I've been working on kind of more fleshed out and good. I contacted Joe, too. I was asking him if I could throw my character designs at him. Uh, so hopefully, you know. Anyways, we've got two options. One, I gotta call my grandma in like an hour. She told me to call her at 7, so. Regardless of what's happening, I gotta do that. I can either end the stream, I can start playing some Twilight Princess, or I can unbox that Nintendo box that I got. Which is sitting out in the uh, kitchen. So, I don't really feel like ending the stream, because I kind of started it, like, not that long ago. So, I'm kind of I'm enjoying streaming right now. So. But, I don't know, I'm really destroying these. These are super good. Um, so, what do you guys want? You want me to open that box or do you want me to play some game? No response. F in the chat for the loss of Collins virginity to his hand. No response, that's crazy. Um Alright, I guess I'll Fuck it, I'll open it I'll open that other box. Because it's just been chilling out there. Mm. It's really good. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, let me go right out of the box. Let's see if we Sorry, I was playing Smash. I guess the box. Yeah, that's that's what it shows. It's good. You're fine. Um, I was I was trying to figure it out myself more than anything. I was just like, what do I want to do? All right, uh, the box. Let's uh, let's grab this. So it's officially licensed by Nintendo. So I'll switch back to the Mii Cam. I don't know if I'm gonna pull the camera back over here because um, it was kind of annoying, but. We'll just do it this way for now. So it's this box, officially licensed by Nintendo. I just pulled it out of its plastic sheet. 
So it has all this stuff in here, but we'll we'll throw that away. So it's a little bit of a mystery, even though you just saw it. Oh, but whatever. No big. Cool. All right. All right. Cool. So it's this this Nintendo. It's a SNES box. I don't know exactly why I bought this. It was really cheap. It was it was only like twenty bucks or something like that. Um. But I kind of just sometimes I just do this thing where I like. Where I'm just like, I want thing now, and then I just, like, as long as it's not, like, ridiculously expensive, I just get myself some merch. And this was, like, a really good deal, because there's, like, a bunch of shit in this, and it was only, like, 20 bucks, and I got it on Amazon. It's officially licensed by Nintendo, so it's all, like, it's not, like, sketchy third-party knockoffs or anything like that. It's, it's, it's probably a bunch of, like, garbage, but, like, it's a bunch of cool-looking garbage, you know? Um... I'm a big fan of, like, the retro thing. The, the reason why I bought this box, though, originally, I think, was because... Okay, was, I was making my, my hard drive. Um, I was making my hard drive for my emulations and all that stuff because I want to set up, basically, like... I want to set up, like, an old-school, like, box. Like, I, I have a better idea for it now. I want to kind of have a Game Boy, like, USB drive that I plug in that then has all the emulations and stuff on it. And I know emulations... Emulations aren't technically illegal if you own the game itself. Um, but, like, a lot of people don't own the games. That's where, where the illegality comes from. But the thing about it is that there's a lot of games that you just can't buy anymore, like old Game Boy games and old Game Boy Advance games. Like, you can still buy them on, like, eBay and stuff like that, but it's not like Nintendo's producing them or they're being sold at, like, any retail location. So, like, you know, like, it's just hard to get your hands on those uh, easily. So I was going to make, like, a box that has, like, a hard drive in it, and I was just going to plug it in to my PC. And, like, most of the games that I want to, like, emulate and stuff like that are those old-school games, you know, like, SNES games and, like, whatever, um, that are, like, hard to get, kind of get... Yeah, same thing with PS2 games. So, yeah, exactly. Like, and PlayStation 2 emulators are pretty good, too, now at this point and stuff like that. So uh, I was going to set up, like, a whole emulation box, and, like, if they want to call me out on it, I literally, like, first of all, have bought, like, I have a PlayStation, I have, like, all these, these, uh, systems, uh, all over the place at my grandma's house and stuff like that, and, um, I actually own a decent amount of these games, I just don't feel like plugging in my N64, you know what I mean? Because it's at my grandma's, which is in Buffalo, but, like, I have these games, you know, I own them, so it's not technically illegal. Twilight Princess, that's, that just showed up on my desktop, so, you know, I own the copy, like, you can't, can't call me out. So that's crazy. Anyway, so yeah, Super, Super Nintendo, right? Uh, freaking box, pretty cool. And it's got like it's, it's old school, old school, old school as fuck. Oh, this is a Super Nintendo. Okay, this is a Super Nintendo. I called it the NES, but yeah, this is the Super Nintendo system, which actually hits me more because Super Nintendo was what I grew up with. Uh, more, more. I had a, I had a NES. My brother had a NES, but it was all busted. And then I got another one that was all busted. So I like we, I was able to play it, but it was like all wrong. The SNES. Yeah, that's what that's what it's be called. Ooh. All right. So open it up. Um. First of all, I'm hit with this thing that slipped out, which is built by Culture Fly. Ooh. Check us out. We are appreciate we appreciate your feedback. Thank you for purchasing a Culture Fly product. Please take a moment to complete this online service, and you will receive fifty percent off your first order. Which I'm not gonna do because I don't care. I already bought this and it was months ago. Not months ago, but yeah. So yeah, first thing that caught my eye, I'll grab, which was this uh this little plushie. So I got this little tiny I'll put this over here. Got this little uh this little Nintendo NES uh plushie. Which is actually pretty cool, so if I take this out here. <laughs> oh, that's pretty sweet. So, moving that. This is, yeah, it's this little spongy, spongy plushie. It's, it's really, really, uh, you, I'm opening up a Nintendo based box that I've, I've had sitting for a while, uh, Kiara. Um, so, yeah, it's this little Nintendo plushie. It, it does, it's about the same size as the controller. It's a little beefier, of course. But, uh, how Nintendo made themselves into a marketable plushie. Yeah, no, Nintendo, don't make me into a marketable plushie. Um, I'm not even gonna remove this tag, because, like, I, I don't know. It's clean and fresh, and I don't feel like doing that right now. But, uh, yeah, it has the, uh, official Nintendo, Nintendo controller mod, and it has, like, it has, like, you know, the notes and stuff on it built by uh, Culture Fly. So that's that's actually pretty cool. That's pretty sweet. I actually like that a lot. 
I'm gonna throw that just on my. Um, it's just gonna go on my. What is it called? The couch? Yeah. I'll put this on. Um. So yeah, the second thing that caught my eye, of course, was this. Now, what is this? This was, like, one of the main reasons I bought this. This is actually pretty sweet. So, this... Let me see if I can do this cool, like... Oh, damn! Wow, it's, like, so fucking tiny. What the fuck? It's, like... It's, like... This would look small on a toddler. I thought this was gonna be, like, way bigger. Oh, shit. This... Okay, so this is... This is dope. Don't get me wrong. I like this. I like this a lot. This is pretty sweet still, but it's like, it's about the size of an actual console. I wasn't expect I was expecting it to be, like, four times the size. I was expecting it to be, like, at least, maybe, like, at least, like, three times as big. It can fit a item in there. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't, I don't even think I could fit the Switch case I just got in here if I really wanted to. Um, I'm definitely gonna, like, wear this, though. This is pretty sweet. Like, throwing this on, you know, throwing this on the, the shoulder. I'm uh, probably releasing this a bit. As a kid, I would have been fucking losing it, you know? Um, the only reason I'm not losing it now is because it's very small. Like, that's that's what pisses me off, dude. Are you kidding me? Like, do you know how many, like, kids' clothes and kids', like, kids' things I would buy if they just made it in adult sizes? Like, I hate, like, when I go to Walmart and I see all these cool, like, kids' clothes featuring, like, Mario and stuff like that. I'm like, dude, I would wear that shirt if it was just medium-sized, you know? Or, like, I find, like, a, like, a My Little Pony sweater... And it's like, we got this in, like, tiny and tinier, and I'm just like, dude, I don't, like, there's a market here that is, that is untapped. Alright, I have a fucking My Little Pony sweater, uh, in the, like, I got, I was gonna get, like, one of the ones that had, like, all the crazy shit with the wings and stuff like that, but you can only find, you can only find it in, like, like, very small, like, like, anorexic child sizes. Like, it's really, it's not even, like, built for a child. You know, like, this is, this is super small, even for, like, a, like, a toddler a toddler might get some bang for buck out of this, but they could probably fit a toy in this. So I'm not I'm not complaining. This is this is cool as fuck. But yeah, like I I imagine myself throwing this throwing this on here and just like kinda of, like just something something basic, you know, like just like, oh here's my phone, my wallet, my shit, like just throwing it in there and then just kinda of rocking around with that. But um it is very, very small. Let me see if I can like Oh shit! I can totally fit my switch in here, so I, I can do that. That's about it. That's all I can fit. But you know, I can I can fit my switch in here. So that's that's there. Um. So yeah, this is this is dope. It's just super small. That's that's the only complaint I have. Um, which I mean, I bought this for like twenty bucks. If I really wanted it, like specifically for a case, specifically for your switch case, exactly. Um. It does smell. This is gonna sound really weird, but it does smell. Exactly what like it, it's given me memories of like elementary school though. It's got that like new like but like it's been sitting there for a while. I don't know, it's got it's got that like weird like it, it feels like it's like not like a legit black ba backpack, right? It feels like like it's like a you know basic like and it is kind of just like that. Like I'm sure that if I treated this poorly it would like fall apart in an instant, but I'm I'm of course gonna try and keep it in the best condition I can, but it does, it does, does feel, it does just reek of, like, we bought this at the, uh, we bought this at the museum, or, or at, like, a fucking, you know, Nintendo Land or something like that, like, something that they could sell cheaply for, like, way, way more expensive than, than they're actually, again, though, I got this whole box for, like, 20 bucks, so, like, this is probably, like, what, like, four bucks, if we're, if we're just equally dividing what it is, it's, like, like, three or four bucks, so that, like, I mean, like, I'm not complaining about that, that's pretty sweet, um, so, yeah, this, this is super small. Again, no complaints, just super small. It's not even a complaint, I'm just pointing that out. It's like, I'm gonna use it for something, though, probably, because I like, I like it. I like wearing these, like, retro shits, uh, all the time. So, I don't know, throw this, throw this on, and I guess, like, I'll, I'll find, maybe, maybe I can, like, you know what? Let me, uh, let me, uh, I got, I got this better. I got, I can, I can better than Nintendo. Hold up. Backpack? I say no. I say it's a goddamn fanny pack. I'm gonna rip this trying to put this on. Holy shit. 
Okay, maybe this was a really bad plan. Okay, wait, no, I got it. I got something here. There's a plan here. There's a... Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah. no, I'm a fucking genius. I don't... Oh, I, I put it on the wrong side, though. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me loosen this up and take it off like pants. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is, this is where it's at. This is the big boy. This is, this is how I'm going to wear this. All right. So, now that I have the optimal use of this backpack actually figured out, I, I can once again, I can once again call Nintendo geniuses. What if you put something in it and it starts sliding? What do you mean it starts sliding? It's, it's all secure. See? You see? I'm all good. I can put my Switch in here. Right? Like, I got this nice, I got this nice Naruto SNES pouch, you know, I open up, throw my, my switch case in here, and completely fail to zip it up, but like, yeah, damn, bro, like, yo, dude, what's up, what's up, bro, what's up, bro, I got, I got the good shit here, you know, like, dude, this is, this is way better. And also, I could, like, I like the idea that I could, like, actually, this is, like, actually, I'm actually being like this. I like the idea that I can put this on my butt, like a fanny pack. Yeah, I'm trying to get, like, a good shot. I'm gonna get, like, a fanny pack, and then I can just run around like this, and, uh, have some shit, and then, like, people would be like, yo, is that a SNES? And I'll be like, fuck yeah, it's a SNES on my ass, like, it's a, it's a SNES, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and with my, like, my watch, too, it, I feel like that fits really well. I feel like that's, that's pretty cool. So, not gonna lie. I was really disappointed with the size, and now I'm like kind of just like this is actually pretty dope. So I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna wear this as a freaking uh, fanny pack kind of kind of thing. 100%. That's actually pretty dope. Uh, so yeah, put this away. Uh, but yeah, that's 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 actually pretty cool. Like backpack, yeah, yeah, it's really small. Fanny pack, mm-hmm, big brain. You see. So, that's actually pretty dope. I, I like it as a, as a doofy fanny pack uh, style thing. I'll probably actually wear it like that. I'm thinking, like, I want to go to cons and stuff as soon as stuff starts opening up and stuff. I want to go and meet a bunch of people at, like, like cons. So, I think that would be, like, something fun to, like, run around with and just, like, dude, is that a SNES? Like, that's, like, the instant conversation starter. Like, just, dude, is that a SNES? Fuck yeah, it's a SNES! What games you play on the SNES? Well, I haven't heard of that one, but, like, yeah, you know, Chrono Trigger. Or, like, Turtles in Time or something. Or Turtles in Time was NES. No, Turtles in Time was SNES, right? I'm gonna put it on the Turtles in Time soundtrack right now. Is music, music's not playing. I believe, yeah, it is SNES. It's SNES. Uh, I've actually been playing this. I'd, I'd be down to stream this with like Yarid or something. Um, we, we were playing this the other day. We were having a bunch of fun playing this. But uh, yeah, so SNES. SNES uh, backpack. Alright, so we've got a few more things in here. I kind of have a feeling I already know what this box is. Um, so we'll look at we'll look at one or two of these other things first really quick. So, next thing we got um, is a uh, Nintendo Entertainment System controller enamel pin. Uh, by the way, this is a goddamn choking hazard. Don't hand it to a kid just like every fucking other object that exists, by the way, parents, uh, if you hand your kid something, they're probably going to shove it in their mouth. So, they're probably gonna choke on it. And it's not because it's an enamel pin that Nintendo made. Or, for example, a Pokeball in, what was it, it was like the 80s or, no, it was like the, it was like the early 2000s, like, or like late 90s, like Burger King ran like a Pokemon thing and they had like Pokeballs and like, Four, four fucking children died or something because their kid, like, because their parents, like, didn't pay attention to their kid. And, like, I'm not trying to say that, like, there wasn't kind of, like, a mistake in the design of it, but I'm just saying that, like, if you leave your kid alone with a, with a tablecloth for too long, you could come back and see them just choked out on it. Like, it, it's got, you kind of got to pay attention a little bit and, and, uh, I don't know. Amount, amount that got sold versus amount of, like, small cases, you know, is just a uh, silly thing to me, I guess. Um, but this is actually pretty dope. So there's these, ow, oh, shit. 
slid out of my hand. So there's these two pins on the back that I gotta pull out or something like that, and then it is the pin. So let me, I'm gonna pull it out. And I'm gonna, I guess I gotta like unscrew them or something. Or do I just pop it out? Oh, I just pop it out. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the uh, backpack for now. Is my finger bleeding? Oof. I stabbed into my finger really hard with that. All is good, though. All is good. Um, that looks pretty sweet, though. Gotta admit. So I'm gonna put this on the, uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get, like, a good thing. I'll get this. Uh, and then I'm gonna go, give me a second, I'm gonna go clean my hand off, because, uh, Kind of poked myself really hard. Um, so I'm gonna put this on here, I guess, just on the top one here. Stab it through. And then put these little silicone boys on there. <laughs> yeah, I stabbed myself, I'm sorry. So there's that, that's pretty cool. I'll be right back. Hand is now fixed. Uh, I wasn't really bleeding or anything. I just wanted to like make sure that like, y you know, whatever. Um, okay, a few more things. Um, I'll, I'll grab this one next because this one's like uninteresting. And I'll get the last few things. Uh, so these these are just uh, old school Nintendo um, cartridge cases. So I think it actually comes like if I open this up, um, it uh. I don't know if all these have like different games on them, which would be kind of cool. Um, why am I having trouble difficulty? Come on. You get like a, here we go. A sword. So I don't know if uh, these are all different, but you notice it has like the, man, now you can play that on the NES. Yeah, well it's not actually a cartridge, uh, it's a cartridge-like piece. How much stuff do you have? I have a few more things. It's a little condensed box. But, oh yeah, so it actually has different things. So we get this like, this is actually pretty cool because like I might, I might do something with these to like sort of, um... Oh, I really, I really jacked that up. I don't know if you can see, but I put a little, yeah, I put like a little scratch on there accidentally trying to cut it up. That's good, but I could put these on the wall. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I could like put these like, you know, on the on the wall right there. I might just do that right now, actually. <gasps> oh, are these coasters? Yo, these are coasters. That's actually pretty dope, because I don't have a coaster. And I'm always putting my tea down and getting it all messy. So I'm like, I don't know if I even want to use these as a coaster, honestly. Now that I think. Uh, when I visit, could I see them? Yeah, sure. Um, I don't think I'm going to use these as coasters. I think I'm going to put these up on the wall right here, underneath my All Might thing. So we got Mario Bros. Uh, we got Super Mario Bros. 3. Which hits me a lot harder, because Super Mario Bros. 3, that's one that I played a lot. Um, the coast with the most. Yeah. Uh, this is this is the one I played a lot as a kid. Me and my brother played this a lot. So this one this one hits me the hardest out of out of all the NES titles that I can remember. Um, we got Duck Hunt. That's that's a big one. And we got Metroid. So I'll put these up. I'll put these up on the wall. And then this is like this is a nice. This is this isn't like it's old school uh, you know, 
the, the little like like weird plastic sheaths. Those were perfect for like kids because as kids we fuck up just everything. So like those things can be bent and torn and whatever, and they just they would not break. They would not tear. They would sorry bent bent and like just beat up to like whatever. This is really nice though. This is a nice feeling like uh, box that I could put stuff in. Specifically these, but I'm gonna put these up on the wall. I'll do that in a minute. Um, so I'm going to actually just put this over here and put it back in the box when I'm done. Um, yeah, I'll put these up on the wall. You know what? I'll put these up on the wall right now. Fuck it. Why not? I got these. Uh, I got a bunch of these things, so there's no real reason not to. This is the wall. This is the wall side. So, we'll do, uh, what order? We'll do Mario Bros. You know what, I'll do this like, oh, okay. not work out. Hey, where did you buy this stuff? All this stuff? I got a box off Amazon that was a SNES box. Um, <laughs> what's up, Rachel? I got a box off Amazon that was like a SNES box that had all this stuff in it. It was like 25 bucks or something like that. Um, so I'm gonna do that. Boom! It's up on the wall. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that little accent. Um, my, my goal is slowly fill, filling out with nerd shit, which is something that I've always wanted. And now, uh, now it's happening. So. So we'll put Super Mario Bros. 3 next to it, like this. And then, should I put the, should I put these like here? Or should I put them, yeah, I should put them like underneath. I feel like that, that's more aesthetically pleasing, for if we're being real. looking nice. I gotta do some cleaning up after this. Like my, my place is like slowly declining. Uh, he's becoming a nerd. Uh, when you get more you should do a Japanese snack uh, boxing. I, I would be down for that. That'd be super fun. Do like a mukbang of like, oh no, I'd feel like horrible. Yeah, I should probably do that. That'd be fun. <laughs> I'd feel horrible though. I know. I'd be like, mmm, this shit. All tastes crazy, like shit. Actually, no, Japanese snacks, I probably wouldn't be. If they're like authentic Japanese snacks, I probably wouldn't be like super worried about them because they're they're really subtle with their their like sugar tasting stuff. Like they're, they're like we got like hints of sugar, but like the main thing is like matcha and like whatever. I get some really good sweet candies. Ooh, 
I actually like the sound of that. So maybe, maybe yeah, maybe I'll do something like that. If you guys want, I, I can like. I don't really like. I budget my money different than most people. I save, do the important stuff, get food, and then like occasionally have some spending money, and I just spend it because I could die tomorrow. What's what's life savings gonna do then? Uh, if I had enough money to do both that and save like life savings, that'd be cool. But. I'll get a fucking... I'll, I'll make some banger cartoons someday. Um, <laughs> so anyways, we got more stuff in the box, too. Um, we got an officially Nintendo brand licensed salt packet that is keeping it... Do not eat. Oh, I put it... You saw it, You saw me put it back down. That, that kind of killed my joke a little bit. I'm great at humor. Uh, we got this. So this is... I don't know where the thing went. Oh, I threw it over there. That's right. Um, so we got this box. I'll save that for last. I know what that is, but we'll save that for last. So the next thing I actually like a lot um, is a Nintendo brand notepad with fucking graphing paper on it. I wasn't expecting graphing paper. That's actually pretty cool. So yeah, it's pretty beefy too so it's an old school game boy uh i'll actually probably use this because trying to keep this in good condition is really dumb on my part but like if i have a bunch of notes in this i'll, I'll find like a specific use maybe i'll use this as like my streaming like handy dandy notebook kind of thing and uh pull it out whenever i um whenever i'm doing certain things or something like that um I like that idea. That's, that's pretty cool. Dude, this stuff is so cool. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I bought it a while ago, so I wasn't like... This This I wasn't expecting. This is the one thing that I wasn't... I, I thought I was just going to get a sleeve, right? I thought I was just going to get this this sleeve, and it was just going to be for a NES game, and I thought I was going to get a few of these. I thought that was what that was, but this is actually just a sleeve on its own. I could put a NES game in there, but it has the, those cards, and that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool for me. Um... But yeah, this, this thing is cool. I think I'll use this as my handy-dandy streaming notebook. So whenever I have like an idea for streaming or I, I learn something on stream or I need to write something down on stream, I'll pull this out and uh, do something with that. So I'll put that right there in front of me. Um, and then one of the other things here is a uh, warning, small choking hazard, not for children. Um, I don't really feel like taking this out necessarily I was already busted open so I guess I guess in we go just take it out Ooh, this is actually pretty sweet not gonna lie oh. it's a big old fucking Nintendo brand coin you could use the book for Zelda I could use the book for Zelda you're right I could uh, yeah um, I could use that for yeah it'll just be that's what I'm saying though is like it'll just be like my my game slash like whatever notebook um, so let me see if I can get, like, a better, uh, there we go. So, we got this, like, nice beefy coin. This is a beefy coin. This is, like, a thick, big old coin. It's not, like, super thick. I'm trying to, like, it's not, like, super thick. It's about, like, two quarters stacked on it, on itself. So it's not, like, super thick, but it's, like, heavy. It's, like, weighty. So, like, that's actually pretty cool. Maybe I'll put that up on the wall, too, or something like that. I don't know how I'd do that, but... Haha, <laughs> one, yeah. Nintendo console box one. So maybe there was meant to be more. And, uh, or there are more. Maybe there are more. Hold on, let me, uh. Nintendo console box. Wow, people are selling these. For nothing. Okay, never mind. This might be worth like a lot of money at some point though, you never know. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna put that I guess I'll just put it back in its busted thing and just throw it back in this box for right now. I don't really have anywhere else to put it. Um and then yeah. I'm gonna But 
yeah, so that, that coin's pretty cool. Um, I'm down to do more unboxing videos. I just have to, like... I think, like, we're, we're planning on moving, maybe. Uh, because this, this apartment is, like, super jank. So I don't want to, like, start unboxing a bunch of shit just to move it. Um, not that I won't order more stuff, necessarily, because... I, I gotta get, like, a fucking job in animation or something first. I think if I had, like, a job that was actually paying not minimum wage and not just, like, <laughs> a few days a week kind of thing, that, like, ordering some extra stuff... I, I would probably, like, order... Like, one... Like, if, if I could find a bunch of boxes like that that are, like... 20 bucks or something like that, I'd do that like once per paycheck. I, I would be down to like just order, like do one unboxing video a week. Oh, that'd be super cool. I could make like YouTube videos out of that where I'm just like, you know, today's like Saturday, let's do some unboxing and then I just edit it up all stupid really fast and like see what random shit we find. I'm not going to do that for this one, but that's just because I don't feel like it. Uh, and then this is the last thing. So this is a box. I know it's in here, but I used to have one uh, just like this. Uh, but so in the box we have a beautiful mug. Wow! I'm gonna give this to the yard. And wow, this is actually way different than I was expecting. And by that, I mean it's just a different color. So it looks, like, it looks super white on cam, uh, but it's actually like this like weird creamish, uh, I don't know if I can get it. Like it's like, this is weird, just go to Hollywood. Uh, time to walk into Kelly companies and throw your portfolio. Yeah, no, I'm gonna try. Like, um, stuff's still like, like kind of shut down here, but like, I'm definitely gonna, um, if I had the ability to just walk into some studios, I would, I would do it. Um, and, um, uh, some other stuff too. Uh, so I am working on beefing up my portfolio though. But like, yeah, so, um, this is this. And, uh, it's actually, you know what? I'll, I'll show you what it actually does. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go wash it because I'm gonna use it. And I don't wanna like, I don't know who's like, as much as like, you know, I want, uh, Sakurai and Miyamoto's, uh, you know, finger juices in my tea. You know, I don't know what other chemicals and whatever it was used in the processing of this. So I'll be, I'll be right back. I'm gonna wash it and I'll be back and I'll make tea in it. Actually. I will guarantee this is not going to be my go-to mug because I still have, I'll show you guys, I don't know where my other mug is, but uh, let me go fill this with water. Alright, so while while I brew up some tea. Uh good hard work, good back for colony just period, cleaning out Nintendo's and the whole world company. Whole company. Alright, so I'm gonna pop this in and start cooking me up some water. Uh, this I'll put away, but this this is super dope, and I'm definitely keeping this box. I'll use it for something. I don't know what necessarily, but uh, 
that's definitely super cool. So I'm gonna put that up in my my uh, closet. That's that's pretty dope. I like that box a lot. Um, uh, but anyways, so it's a nice little mug, right? And it's got some cool cool stuff on it, which is apparently stays slippery. But um, first of all, we gotta select our tea. So let me grab my tea box, which is just a complete goddamn mess. And uh, we'll, we'll pull this up here. So, so what, what type of tea you guys think I should drink? I'm cool with drinking anything but the zest teas. The zest teas, that would be like an intense amount of caffeine right now. I've stopped drinking these in entirety. Um, I really like the Earl Grey, like the taste is really good, but uh, yeah, I've stopped drinking these. I got Tazo though, that's what I've been drinking those in the morning. So this is Tazo Earl Grey. This stuff is really sharp, I've been drinking this almost every morning. Um, I'm trying to get some some regular ones, Nest, Nasty, like Nasty, Nasty, oh I get it, Nasty, yeah. <laughs> um, we got green tea, Japanese green tea. So that, that's I think I think I'm putting that one in the in the. We got turmeric ashwagandha. This one's gonna taste like super herbally, but it's like super really good for you. Um, organic Earl Grey. We got awake English breakfast. I might I might dip into that. I haven't had green tea in forever, so I'm thinking the green tea is gonna win here. We got ginger and lemon. Uh, that one I haven't even tried. That one would be super good for digestion. We got roasted dandelion root, which is, dude, you got a snack box too? This isn't a snack box, this is a tea box. Very different. Um, we got lapsang souchong. Uh, lap, lapsang souchong. Uh, this shit is one of the world's oldest and most distinctive black teas. This shit tastes like how a cigar ashtray smells. I can't tell if that's a good flavor or a bad flavor. I don't really have... I don't really have the answer to that. Hold up, I need to... I realize that this, this is, is not, not popping pop. up. Yeah, this isn't all popping up. I should copy that and put that in the meat can. There we go. Uh, Lapsung Sushong, like the Eggman in the Sonic... Sonic cartoon. Yeah! Lapsung Sushong. Uh... If that's if that's the joke there, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's super super. Eh. It's like it's not bad. It's just like I wasn't expecting it. It, it tastes like how a cigar tray smells. Like I don't I don't even know how to do that. So I don't I don't want to really. Unless you guys want me to venture into this one, I'll I'll totally venture into this one. I guess if you guys want me to, and I'll just be like, mmm, this is great. Mm. I honestly I, I I'd like to. You know what? Maybe, maybe that, yeah, I'll keep that one up there. We got Zen tea. Oh, shit. Tazo. This is another Tazo one. This is peppermint, spearmint. Oh, sorry. Just, just spearmint and lemongrass. So green tea, spearmint, and lemongrass. That's like, that's big brain. That's, uh, that's, that's brain stuff. Uh, we got positive energy tangerine and positive energy raspberry passion. These two are both super good. They got lots of caffeine in them, to my knowledge, though, but they also have a lot of, um, they got a lot of good stuff in them uh, that are like adaptogens and stuff. Just make tea with the grass outside. I could do that. I don't think that would go over very well. I don't think it would taste bad. I think it would just taste uh, earthy, you know? This one I tried once. I didn't really like this one. Uh, I thought I was gonna really like it. So this is black tea, black currant breeze. Uh, so this one looks super slick and uh, it's like black currant, which is like this nice, um, uh, but like, I don't know why, but like, like for some reason, berry flavors don't really, f like, I think I just don't like them when they're hot. I like berries and stuff like that when it's like a cold flavor, but when it's hot, it always feels like humidly, like sugary. Like, I don't know how to s explain that, but like the sugar always feels like it's like, it's so weird. It's such a weird, the, the citrus doesn't feel right when it's like hot. I don't know. That's just me though, maybe. I don't I don't really know. I don't, I don't hate it. Uh, but I was expecting something. Darj Darjling, that's a 
Asian, or a, uh, well, I guess Asian Indian tea. Um, breakfast blends. Japanese matcha. Maka, maka, maka. English afternoon. Peppermint. It's like the freezy flavor. Yeah, no, that's exactly, that's actually exactly the perfect description of like, yeah, it's like, like the freezy flavory like has that weird like tang that doesn't really feel like, like citrusy, but it's like there. Yeah, like that's exactly how it tastes and it's like, it's weird to me. Like in a freezy pop though, that stuff's like okay. That like, I don't mind the freezy pop because it's like cold, you know, like so that, that weird feeling doesn't like feel weird because it's like cold but like when it's hot and, and warm it just it's got such a weird flavor to it i don't know oh shit i should drink this one i'm gonna drink this one i didn't realize I, that, that was like a lead that was like like that was like heart of the cards pull right there that was crazy uh i didn't think i had any more of these um so this this is something i found out about recently and it combines every part of my favorite parts of tea um it's not like the perfect like i'm definitely like i think Earl Grey slash black tea is definitely, I, I'm trying to see if I have anything else. I also got this one, but I don't want to have this one. Uh, this is another, this is uh, Kubo tea. This is just like zest tea, um, but it's like a chai tea, and it's a, it's a little bit more mellow. Um, I don't really hate it, but it's, it's got a weird flavor. Um, like, I'll drink it. I just like, the thing is, is that like, that's not like, I don't even want to drink this because like, it doesn't feel like worth the caffeine content. T homunculus, basically. Um, uh, yeah, there's, a, there's probably a bunch of other random assorted teas. Like, okay, we got decaffeinated Earl Grey. Um, I really like tea, so I, I, if I could, like, I would drink tea all day, honestly. But um, okay, so I'm gonna put that down. So we got Hojita. I'm thinking, I'm thinking between Hojita and English breakfast honey vanilla. This one has like no caffeine. So what Hojita is. Um, hojicha. Hojicha roasted green tea. So what hojicha is, is it's basically they took green tea and they put it, they threw it in a plant, a pan, fired it up and like roasted it. Like, uh, I don't know, like a, like roasted dandelion or something like that. They basically take the leaves and like roast them up and crispen them up and make them, you know, tangy. Get that tangy, I don't want to say burnt, but like that, like, uh, you know, that nice roasted flavor. And the thing is, I really like green tea by itself, but I also really like roasted teas, such as, like, roasted dandelion root or something like that. So, the roasted green tea is actually, like, super dope. So, I'm actually going to drink that one. I'll put the rest back in the thing. Plus, like, it, it just has all the benefits of green tea with this, like, different flavor. So, uh, time to roast them up. That's right. So, we'll take this guy, and we'll put water in it and we'll see what happens I'm trying to get a good shot of this thing so put some hot tea in there it is a precarious shot because this thing is infamous for dripping on me while I'm while I'm pouring it so oh shit the thing went in the fit in the wake ah! whoa what's this Doo -doo 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 -doo. now the thing is, is that, like, the one that I used to have was cooler than this. It was way cooler than this, because it was basically this, except for it actually had, like, a Mario game playing on it. And this one just kind of turns on, and there's just nothing there. It's just a blank cartridge. So, like, that's kind of that's kind of lame. But it does, you know, like, give you a good indicator of how hot the tea is, I guess. And it does look cool when it changes colors like that. That was actually pretty sweet. I'm... I'm really happy that that was as clean as it was yeah it's still it's dope as hell um and it like now it's on it's like i turned it on so that's pretty cool and i'm definitely not gonna be drinking out of this because like i don't know if you've seen my uh my other mug but my other mug is just like i don't think that like <laughs> that 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 mug does not compare to my other mug there are mugs that maybe would have like cool structures or cool things on them that might like be cool and and might make me want to drink out of them but this this is just a regular ass mug with like some weird texture on it which i actually it's a game boy and now that i'm looking at it like in the camera and seeing like what it actually looks like like it's actually pretty cool like that i feel like on stream that actually looks pretty dope so maybe i will drink out of this one a little bit more 
But the other one is just, uh, it's like this weird, crazy monster face. And like that, that thing is just, that thing is sweet. I like that thing a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm actually glad I did this. I was, I was scared, like, I got weirdly scared of like, China, China, like, based, made in China products. Not because I have anything against China, but because they still, like, it's not China. It's, it's, they have like, people like start up companies in China, sell a bunch of product, and then just be completely dismantled, like, really fast, and they'll sell, like, bad product, and they'll do stuff where they, like, put, like, lead paint on stuff still, so I was a little bit worried about that, but then I realized that it was an official Nintendo product, so I was like, they, they wouldn't, they wouldn't let that happen, right? Like, and if they did, I could sue them. <laughs> uh, the bootlegs are real. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, though, like, I was, I was, like, worried that, like, because, like, it's like, like, any, like, company can't really, like, hold itself up when it does something illegal like that or bad. But a company that's built to just kind of, like, plummet into the ground and just make a quick buck, they'll totally, like, and then, like, Amazon, like, can't check all that stuff, you know what I mean? Just because I bought it off Amazon doesn't necessarily mean there's, there's not, like, lead paint or something in it. So that's, that's what I got worried about. But, like, I think because I'm in Cali, too, they would have, like, labeled it with, like, potential that and whatever, because, like, I got... I got like a controller one time, I got a controller a few weeks ago that was like a N64 controller and it had like a lead like like stick around it that was like warning might contain lead and I was like well that's getting cost like I ain't fucking, I, dude I don't fuck with lead okay like that that shit's, that's just not cool like I don't wanna, I don't wanna deal with any of the negative repercussions of, of any of that stuff but anyways yeah so I got this nice little handy dandy notebook uh, and that's, that's a plus and now I got a new mug, I guess, too. Uh, so that's pretty sick. I'm gonna put one of my Kleenex, but it's a powerful metal. It can be, but in our system. And the thing is, is it's not like, like, dude, it's not like you think we're like, you know, you know, like you touch stainless steel, none of the steel comes off on your hand. And if it is, it's not reactive in our system, right? With lead, it's a heavy metal, but it's like. You can, like, if you rub it on your hands, it'll stay on your hands, right? So if you get it on your hands and then you, like, eat something, you're eating lead. And, like, like no amount of lead in your system is, like, a good thing. Like, that's what sketches me out. Like, bullets. People shooting bullets all the time, you know, like, with lead. You know, and then they find out that they got lead poisoning after, like, ten years. And they're just like, I don't understand what happened. It's like, dude, you didn't fucking take proper precautions with a deadly metal. <laughs> like, it, like, I guess, like, maybe, like, a hundred years ago or more, like... It wasn't really that known, but like now we just know everything about not everything, but like it's really simple. Just become Metal Mario, uh, dude. I I don't know about that one, but I don't know. I guess I'm not worried about it. You know, let me uh, I'll even look it up really quick. SNES. Did I get this, like, did it, like, did it, like, go away? Did I get this at, like, some weird, perfect interval? I might have gotten this at some weird, specific interval. Oh, dude, there's all sorts of fucking collector's boxes. I get a, 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 a fucking Zelda collector's box. I get a Mario box. Maybe I will start doing that. Maybe I gotta get like a fucking job or some shit so I can actually like. But like, if I if I had just like fifty bucks a week to just spend, I would I would drop it into some collector's box and just have. I like merch and shit a lot. So um. Yeah, I guess I can't look it up. It doesn't seem to be on uh, Amazon anymore. Maybe I can, like, maybe I can, like, look it in my orders. Doesn't pop up. Um, oh, here we go. Official Nintendo SNES currently unavailable. Six, six ratings. False advertisement. The coffee cup is the main reason. I brought this pack and it doesn't have the Mario image, it just turns green plus it's small. This is false advertising. Dude, this is an official... I don't know what you expect. It's not even in the thing! This guy's a moron. 
Look at this, look at this, look at this. In the package, it doesn't even show that it has the Mario image, so I don't know what this guy's on about. But, yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna, I'm definitely ain't gonna drink out of this mug, probably. Oh, I guess I got the Ridge Racer theme going on there. But, uh, yeah, I guess it's unavailable. I guess I just got it at, like, a perfect time, which, that's cool. Especially with this. That's pretty sweet. So. Yeah. Now I got some tea to drink, and, uh, mug. <laughs> yeah. Um. So that's pretty dope, though. I like that a lot. Um, I gotta go call my grandma, though. And I don't know how long that's gonna take. But I gotta go do that because I told her I would call her at 7, which is 4 p.m. my time, and it's 4 p.m. right now. So, I gotta go do that. So I think I'm gonna end the stream. I don't know if I'm gonna come back and play some... I might come back and play some Twilight Princess tonight. I was kind of thinking about doing that. But, I don't know, I haven't done anything other than tutor and then just open up one bunch of shit and set up my SNES and stuff, so, or my, uh, Switch and stuff, so, yeah. I'm gonna end this stream for now, uh, so I can go talk to my grandmas. So, poodles, my doodles, and have a good rest of your day, unless I'm streaming in, like, a few minutes, which... Could happen. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. So, 